हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा so dear devotees <clears throat> we have all learned from our beloved founder acharya om vishnu pad paramhamsa parivrajak acharya stotra shat shri shrimad abhay charanar vind bhakti vedanta swami maharaj shila prabhu pad that we are not these material bodies we are spiritual living entities and we belong to krishna in bhagavad gita lord krishna says mamayam shuchi baloka jiva bhuta sanatana we are eternally parts of krishna is my voice audible because i have connected my laptop to the hotspot on my cell phone so it may not be the best of internet yes, connect yes prabhu it's very audible okay okay hare krishna so <clears throat> we eternally belong to krishna this truth we have to understand very clearly please repeat with me we are not this material body we are spiritual living entities eternally belonging to the supreme lord shri krishna and the proof for this is mama am shajiva loka jiva bhuta sanatana sanatana eternally we are amsha we are parts of krishna we belong to krishna so first siddhanta is we are not this body we are spiritual souls and we belong to krishna okay so what is our constitutional nature what is our relationship with krishna eternally our relationship with krishna is that of dasatva servitude we are servants of krishna and the proof for that is from Shri Chaitanya Charita Amrit of Shri Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami, where the Supreme Personality of God at Shri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, "Jivera Swarup Hai Krishna Ra Nitya Das, Krishna Ra Tatastha Shakti Bheda Bhai Prakash." Jivera Swarup Hai Krishna Ra Nitya Das. Eternally, we are servants of Krishna. This is the second Siddhanta. First Siddhanta is we belong to Krishna. Mama Amsha Jiva Loka Jiva Bhuta Sanatana. Second is we are eternally servants of Krishna. जीवर स्वरूप है कृष्ण रणित दास महाप्रभु ऑल्सो से गोपी भर तू पद कमल और दास दास अनुदास आई एम इटर्नली सर्वेंट ऑफ राधा एंड कृष्ण थर्ड सिद्धांत इज दैट वी आर सपोज टू सर्व कृष्ण विथ आवर बॉडी माइंड एंड सोल तत्ते नुकंपा सुसमीक्ष मानो भूंजान एवात्म कृतम विपाकम नमस्ते जीवे तयो मुक्ति पदे भक्तो नमस्कुरु इन भगवत गीता ऑल्सो कृष्ण से मन मना थिंक ऑफ मी माम नमस्कुरु ऑफर ओबे सनसेस्टो टू मद याजी विथ योर बॉडी यू वर्शिप मी विथ योर बॉडी यू ऑफर ओबे सनसेस्टो मी विथ योर माइंड यू थिंक ऑफ मी एंड भवमद भक्त बिकम माई डिवोटी ऑल्सो इन भगवद गीता कृष्ण से सततम कीर्त यो मतंत दृढ़ा व्रता विथ योर वाणी विथ योर वॉइस ऑलवेज ग्लोरिफाइंग सततम कीर्त यो मो दर्ड सिद्धांत इज विथ अवर बॉडी माइंड एंड वर्ड वी आर सपोज टू सर्व कृष्ण ग्लोरिफाई कृष्ण एंड द फोर्थ सिद्धांत द फोर्थ प्रिंसिपल तत्व सिद्धांत दैट वी हैव टू रिमेम्बर इज दैट बिकॉज वी बिलोंग टू कृष्ण बिकॉज वी आर इटर्नली सर्वेंट्स ऑफ कृष्ण एंड बिकॉज विथ आवर बॉडी माइंड एंड वर्ड्स वी आर सपोज टू सर्व कृष्ण एंड बिकॉज कृष्ण इज आवर डेस्टिनेशन माम उपेत पुनर्जन्म दुखालय अशाश्वतम नापुवंती महात्मा संसिधि परमा गता Paramam, the param gati is Krishna. In Shrimad Bhagavatam also it is described in the first canto. Vasudeva paragati. Lord Krishna Vasudeva is the supreme destination for of us, for all of us. 
So because Krishna is our supreme destination, we belong to Krishna. We are eternally servants of Krishna. With our body, mind and words, we are supposed to serve Krishna. The fourth Tattva Siddhanta is, we should not take shelter of anybody except Krishna. This is Sharanagati. Goptritve Varana, to accept Krishna as one's maintainer. Avasya Rakshive Krishna Vishwasa Palana, to have firm faith that Krishna will always protect me. And therefore, I don't have to take shelter of any other person, any other demigod or demigoddess or any other uh, process. My only shelter is Krishna. Shri Krishna Sharanam Mama, as Shri Padvallabhacharya taught us in the Pushti Marga. Shri Krishna Sharanam Mama. In Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says this. Sarva dharman parityajya maam ekam sharanam vraja. Forget everything else and just surrender to me. Sharanagati. Maam ekam sharanam vraja. Not to two people or three people. Maam ekam sharanam vraja. So the fourth Siddhanta is that we should never take shelter of anyone else. Only Krishna. Maam ekam sharanam vraja. Am I still audible? Yes? Okay. Maam Ekam Sharanam Raja. We have to take exclusive shelter of Krishna. This is the philosophy of life. We belong to Krishna. We are Krishna's servants. With body, mind and words, we'll serve Krishna and we will never take shelter of anyone else. Only Krishna. Therefore, Srila Prabhupada called our society the International Society for Krishna Consciousness. When we take shelter of Krishna, Sharanagati, Krishna listens to our prayers. Please note this down. Unless and until we are surrendered to Krishna, Krishna will not listen to our prayers. What is the proof for this? What is Sharanagati? Sharanagati is six things. We have to be humble. We have to accept Krishna as our protector. We have to offer everything we have to Krishna. We have to accept Krishna as our uh, only maintainer. So protector and maintainer. Number five, we have to accept things that are favorable for Krishna Bhakti, Krishna Consciousness. And number six, we have to reject things that are unfavorable for Krishna Consciousness. Now listen carefully. Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Jive Dayakari Swaparshada Sviya Dhamma Saha Avatari Shri Bhakti Varun Thakur has taught us this. That Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu, who are we? Jeev. Jeevera Sarupai Krishna. You remember that words? Jeevera Sarupai Krishna. We are Jeeva. Mamai Amsha Jeeva Loka. Jiva Bhuta Sanatana. We are Jiva. Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Jive Daya Kori. To show mercy to all of us, the Baddha Jivas, Shri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Swaparshada Sviya Dhamma Saha Avatari. To save all of us, all of you are just six hours drive south of the Arctic Circle, I was told by the Amodar Charan Prabhu. Very cold. We are there in North Canada. But no matter whether we are at North Pole or South Pole or Equator or Tropic of Cancer or Tropic of Capricorn, doesn't matter where we are. The mercy of Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is upon all of us. He has descended to our realm. Swaparshada Sviya Dhamma Saha Avatari. He has come down. Not alone with his associates, like Nityananda Prabhu, like Advaita Acharya, like Gadadhar Pandit, like Srivas Thakur, like Haridas Thakur, like Rupa Goswami, Sanatan Goswami, Raghunath Das Goswami, Srila Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami, Srila Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur, Srila Narottam Das Thakur. Shila Balde Vidya Bhushan. Shila Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj. Shila Bhakti Vino Thakur Mahashaya. Shila Gaur Kishor Das Babaji Maharaj. Shila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Prabhupada. And our own beloved revered founder Acharya. Shila Abhay Charan Arvinda Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj. Shila Prabhupada. These are all Gaur Priyajan. These are all 
dear devotees of Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu. Swa Parshad, Parshad means with all these associates he has descended. Gaurlila continues even today. Swa Parshad Sviyadham Saha Avatari Atyanta Durlabha Prema Koribare Da. He has come to give Krishna Prem. Krishna also came to give Krishna Prem. But Krishna put a lock. He gave us Krishna Prem in a box. But he put a lock on that box. Aham tvam saro pape bhyo Yes, I will deliver you from this world. I will give myself to you. But mamekam sharanam praja. You have to surrender to me. So Krishna put a condition that to get Krishna Prem, you have to surrender. Sharanagati. Krishna put the condition of Sharanagati. If you accept Sharanagati, then you will get Krishna Prem. So how do we get Sharanagati? To teach that, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came. Now listen carefully. Atyanta durlabha prema kori bare dan shikhaye sharanagati bhakate ra pran. We are here for Krishna Prem. Krishna Prema Bina Vyartha Daritra Jivana Dasa Kohe Vetanamora Deho Prema Dha. We are here for Krishna Prem. Srila Prabhupada taught us to repeat every morning before we start our Chapa session. Let us chant attentively, avoiding these 10 offenses in order to quickly achieve the desired success, Krishna Prem. So we are here for Krishna Prem. And Mahaprabhu has come to give Krishna Prem. Namo Mahavadana Krishna Prem Pradayate. But how will we get that Krishna Prem from Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? By accepting Sharanagati. Atyanta Durlabha Prema Kori Bare Dan Shikhaye Sharanagati Bhakate Rapran. Because we are here for Krishna Prem and Krishna Prem can be obtained only by Sharanagati. Sharanagati is the life of devotees. Sharanagati is very important to all of us. We should all understand and practice Sharanagati. And who is teaching us Sharanagati? Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Shikhaye Sharanagati Bhakate Rapran. Okay. So Mahaprabhu is teaching us Sharanagati. We want to accept Sharanagati. What is Sharanagati? Dainya Atma Nivedana Goptritve Vara Vasha Rakshibe Krishna Vishwasa Pala Bhakti Anu Kula Matra Karyera Svika Bhakti Prati Kula Bhava Varjanam Vika. These are the six limbs of Sharanagati. To remain humble. To accept Krishna as one's maintainer, to offer everything to Krishna, to accept Krishna as one's protector, to do things that are favorable and to give up things that are unfavorable. These are the six limbs of Sharanagati. Now, one who accepts these six limbs of Sharanagati, what happens to that devotee? Shadanga Sharanagati Hoi Bejaha. Tahara Prathana Shune Srinanda Kumar. One who has this six limbs of Sharanagati, Krishna will only listen to that devotee's prayers. Unless and until we have Sharanagati, our prayers are not reaching Krishna, my dear friends. Unless we are practicing the six limbs of Bhakti, most all these limbs are encapsulated in a simple principle. Do what is favorable for Bhakti. Do not do what is unfavorable for Bhakti. Whenever in life we are faced with a dilemma, should I do this? Should I not do this? We have to simply use the simple litmus test. What is the litmus test? Is this going to help me in my Bhakti? If the answer is yes, do it. Anukulyasya Sankalpa and Pratikulyasya Varjanam. Is this activity going to harm my Krishna consciousness? If the answer is yes, don't do it. Give it up. That is Sharanagati. If we can do this, we are Sharanagati Bhaktas. We are surrendered. <laughs> if we can do this, 
that we accept only what is favorable for bhakti and we give up what is unfavorable for bhakti. We qualify as surrendered devotees. And Krishna will then listen to our prayers. Think about it. Give any situation in life. Eating in a restaurant may be very tempting, very difficult to cook. Let me just eat in a restaurant. Let me order food online. May be very convenient. But is that food cooked with devotion to Krishna? So eating that food, is it going to be helpful in our Krishna consciousness or harmful for our Krishna consciousness? Harmful. So we don't eat. That is Sharanagati. Waking up early in the morning at 3.30 so we can start our Japa by 4 o'clock. And between 4 and 6, the two most powerful hours for Japa, chant every single day, 7 days a week. Now today I am not chanting. It's for started at 4.30 the class. But this is Krishna Katha. This is Krishna Katha. So can we be engaged early in the morning in Krishna conscious activities and throughout the day? It may be difficult. It may be tempting to just pull the comforter and go back to sleep. Isn't it? But is that is sleeping beneficial for Krishna consciousness? Wasting time? Or is it harmful? It is harmful. So we don't do it. Is waking up and chanting attentively in Brahma Murta favorable for Bhakti? Yes, it is favorable for Bhakti. So should we do it? Yes, we should do it. That is Sharanagati. Criticizing devotees may be tempting. Yes, I see the faults in that devotee. And when we criticize others, it makes us feel good. Because we are in a superior position. We are discussing the faults of others. I don't have those faults. I don't behave like that devotee. So it makes our false ego feel very good. I am better off. It may be tempting to criticize others, but is it good for our Krishna consciousness? No, it is very harmful. First offense against the holy name is Satam Ninta, Sadhu Ninta, to criticize devotees. So should we do it? No, we should not do it. It is harmful. Pratikulyasya Varachanam. See, at every situation in our life, if we use this litmus test, is this good for my Krishna Bhakti? Yes, do it. No, don't do it. That is Sharanagati. Simple. And always have faith that Krishna will protect me. So if we have the six limbs of Sharanagati, Shadanga Sharanagati Hoi Bejar Tahara Prarthana Shune Srinanda Kumar so if we are surrendered to Krishna, we are practicing Sharanagati in our life. And then we pray to Krishna. Oh Krishna, please accept me. Please don't reject me. Radha and Krishna, you are my life and soul. Please accept me in your service. Radha Krishna Pranamora Yoga Lakishor Jivane Marane Gati Radha and Krishna are my life and soul. Radha and Krishna, please accept me in your service. Then Radha and Krishna will accept us. Why? Because we are surrendered. Unless we are surrendered, Krishna will not listen to our prayers. So when we pray that Radha Krishna Pranam or Yugala Kishore and we are surrendered, then Radha and Krishna accept us in their pastimes. And then we will be able to serve them in their pastimes, in their divine Leela, like the Ras Leela. Hare Krishna. The Ras Leela and the pastimes at Radha Kund are the highest. I think someone needs to mute. So please mute yourself. The pastimes at Radha Kund that happens in the midday and the pastimes on the banks of Yamuna on the Rasa Sthali at night. These two pastimes are the pastimes where the followers of Rupa Manjari, actually Rupa Goswami, the Rupa Nuva Gaudiya Vaishnavas assist. So in the daytime, we are assisting at Radha Kund and at night, we are assisting in the Raslila. This is our eternal constitutional position. But to get there, we have to be Sharanagat. We have to surrender. And we have to repeat the words of our Acharyas like Shila Bhakti Vano Thakur, Shila Narottam Das Thakur, Shila Vishwanath Chakra Thakur. Therefore, we sing these Gaudiya Bhajans. We sing the Ashtakams. 
because these are the prayers of our acharyas and by repeating those prayers by understanding the meaning of those prayers and with feeling reciting those prayers every day and at the same time practicing sharanagati we will enter radha kund and we will enter the raslila shri pad ayanda prabhu said i am entering the raslila and anyone who assists me in the 24 hours kirtan i promise i will take them back with me shila prabhupad also promised us that if you follow what i have given you you accept what i have given you and you follow it in your life i will take you to golok vrindavan so we have to be sincere we have to take shelter of the holy name the most favorable thing that we can do for bhakti is chant hare krishna mahamantra and shila prabhupad taught us what is the artha what is the meaning of this mantra and when we chant hare krishna mahamantra we have to do something called as mantra artha chintana we have to meditate on the artha of the mantra so what is the meaning of hare krishna mahamantra according to shila prabhupad there is a famous lecture of shila prabhupad where shila prabhupad explains the hare krishna mahamantra in the san francisco ratha yatra in the 1960s shila prabhupad says hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama 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 hare hare this hare krishna mahamantra means my dear shrimati radharani my dear shri krishna please engage me in your eternal loving devotional service so by chanting hare krishna mahamantra we are saying essentially radha krishna pranamor yugal kishor jivane marane gati aranahi so when we pray like this radha and krishna will accept us and we will be able to assist in the past times eternally every day at radha kund and in the raslila at night the day time at radha kund and and it begins early in the morning at kusum sarovar where radha rani comes to collect flowers to make a garland for vanamali krishna there we are there with radha rani radha rani goes to surya kund to perform surya upasana why radharani is praying to surya dev every day na tad bhasyate suryo na shashanko na pavak yad gatvana nivartante tad dhama paramam mama in the spiritual world there is no sun no moon no electricity no fire so how shrimati radharani is eternally worshiping surya dev yes she is worshiping surya dev but this is the spiritual world it is not the sun like the sun we have here where we are depending on the sun for heat and light and warmth no there the sun exists for the pleasure of radha and krishna the moon exists so that sharadi and raslila can take place on the full moon night <laughs> so they are there they are all expansions of balram ji balram ji has created golok vrindavan as a sandhini shakti and everything is existing for the service of radha and krishna even balram ji exists as radharani's younger sister Ananga Manjari to assist at Radha Kund. Ananga Manjari is always serving at Radha Kund, the younger sister of Radha Rani. So this is the beautiful spiritual world, and Radha Rani is worshiping Surya Dev so that the sun can set early and she can have a longer Rasleela with Krishna. So every morning she tells Jatila and Kutila that I am going to worship Surya Dev, and they think, oh. if she worships worships surya dev our son abhimanyu will have a longer life so yes yes go 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 with your sakhis so we go with radharani to surya kund but surya kund is the secret place where radha and krishna meet so radharani goes there with her sakhis and manjaris and there there is a secret meeting with krishna krishna tells his friends his cowherd boyfriends that you take care of the cows just a little bit i'll be right back and krishna excuses himself and comes to surya kund where there is a secret meeting between radha and krishna and from there radha and krishna go to radha kund from surya kund they go to radha kund and there for many hours they have wonderful past times where the manjaris cook for radha and krishna they serve lunch to radha and krishna at radha kund radha and krishna bathe at radha kund sham kund the manjaris and the sakhis they do shringar of radha and krishna they dress them decorate them offer them flower garlands there are swing pastimes that take place radha and krishna play play chess 
at Radha Kund every day, where Radha Rani wins. And we applaud Radha Rani. We cheer for Radha Rani <laughs> because she defeats Krishna. So all these wonderful pastimes take place at Radha Kund. Then again, there is Viraha. There is separation. Then Krishna has to go back to Balramji and his friends and the cows. And Radha Rani has to go back home <laughs> to Yavat or Barsala. And then again, in the evening when Krishna comes back from his cow herding pastimes, Gochar and Leela, Radharani is able to see Krishna. Sidelong glances. They cannot see eye to eye because there is Parakya Bhav. It is not Swakya Bhav in the Gaudiya tradition. There are other Vrindavans. There is not just one Vrindavan. If there can be millions and millions of Vaikuntha planets, why there cannot be many Golok planets? So, the followers of Sripad Vallavacharya we eternally worship Krishna in the spiritual world where Krishna is Bal Gopal. Those who, whose Ishtadev is Bal Gopal, Laddu Gopal, they will worship Krishna eternally, serve Krishna eternally, have pastimes with Krishna eternally, but Krishna will be Bal, Balne Avastha, Kumar Avastha. But in our Gaudiya line, we have Krishna as Kishore. Radha Krishna Pranamora Yugala Kishore Kishore Avastha. Krishna is eternally 15 years old. Radharani is 14 years old and the Manjaris are 12 years old. And our Upasana is Manjari Upasana to become Manjari maid servants of Radharani. We are Radharani's Palya Dasis, all our Acharyas. That is our line. But there are other Vrindavans where Radha and Krishna are, they get married every day. In their Ashtakale Lila, one Lila is of Radha Krishna Vivaha. Every day they get married. And they are in Swakiya Bhav. And there is no Viraha. The whole Ashtayam Seva, Ashtakale Lila in the Nikunja is Radha and Krishna together always. But that is not so where we go in our Sampradaya. In our Sampradaya, there is Parakya Bhav. Let me ask you all a question. Which Bhav so Swakya Bhav means Radha and Krishna are married, like Rukmini and Dwarkadesh. In Srimad Bhagavatam, as far as Radha and Krishna are concerned, or the gopis of Vrindavan are concerned, is it Swakya Bhav or is it Parakya Bhav, as described in Granth Rashi? Yes. Uh, ah, it is Parakya Bhav. They are not married. There is no marriage described in the uh, first 40 chapters of the 10th canto of Srimad Bhagavatam in mean, Vrindavan Leela. Marriage takes place in Dwarka. But as far as the Varaj Gopis are concerned, who are the highest worshippers of Krishna? Aradhyo Bhagavan Vrajesh Tanayas Taddhama Vrindavanam Ramya Kachidupasana Vrajavadhu Vargenaya Kalpita Ramya Kachidupasana Vrajavadhu The Vrajavadhus, the Varaj Gopis have performed the most pleasing, Ramya means most pleasing worship of Krishna. Highest worship of Krishna is in the mood of the Vraj Gopis. So the Vraj Gopis are not in Swakya Bhav. They are in Parakya Bhav. Jayo Jayo Jwala Rasa Sarva Rasa Sara Parakya Bhave Jaha Vrajete Prachara Siddha Krishna Das Babaji of Govardhan has written this bhajan. Jayo Radhe Jayo Krishna Jayo Vrindavan Shri Govinda Gopinath Madana Mohan And he has also written our Tulsi Arti. Dina Krishna Dasa Go. The last line. So Tulsi Arti and this Jayo Radhe Jayo Krishna has been written by Siddha Krishna Das Babaji of Govardhan in our Gaudiya Parampara. So he has written Parakya Bhave Jaha Brajete Prachar. In Braj there is Parakya Bhav. Srimad Bhagavatam speaks of Parakya Bhav. In Swakya Bhav there may not be Viraha. There is always Milan. But in Parakya Bhav, by definition, Parakya Bhav, there has to be Viraha. Is there Viraha in Srimad Bhagavatam? Yes or no? Yes. So much Viraha is there. Krishna left Vrindavan. When Akrur came, he left. And for the next hundred years, there was Viraha, 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 and only Viraha. So, Srimad Bhagavatam preaches, teaches, explains Parakya Bhav. 
Shrimad Bhagavatam, which is the Amala Purana, the spotless Puran. It is the ripened fruit of Nigama Kalpataru, the tree, desire fulfilling tree of Vedic wisdom. The ripened fruit. Nigama Kalpataru Galitam Falam. Shukamukhad Amrita Dravasam Yutam Pibata Bhagavatam Rasamalayam Muraho Rasika Bhuvibhavuka. This ripened fruit called Srimad Bhagavatam is teaching Parakya Bhav and is talking about Viraha. There is Milan. Today is Raslila. There is Milan, but there is also Viraha. Because today also we are going to discuss Gopi Git, which is Viraha. See, both are there. Gopi Git means Viraha. And Rastila means union. So Viraha and Milan, both are eternally happening in our Vrindavan, where we go, Gaudiyas. There may be other Sampradaya, we don't have to get confused. There may be other Sampradaya, where there is Swakya Bhav. There is Kanta Bhav. But in our Golok Vrindavan, the Golok Vrindavan that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has revealed to us, that where which Ruba Manjari has revealed, through Rupa Goswami has revealed through his writings. Srila Raghunath Das Goswami has revealed through his writings. Srila Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami has revealed through his Govinda Leela Amrit. There is Parakya Bhav and there is Milan as well as Viraha. Both are there. So, with this philosophical understanding, let us enter into the topic for today. First, we will discuss the Gopi Geet. Because Gopi Git comes first, and then we will discuss the Rasadila. <clears throat> to understand Gopi Git, we have to go one year in the past. We have to go to the time when Krishna lifted Govardhan. When did which month did Krishna do Govardhan Dharan Lila? Which month of the year out of 12 months? Yes, Kartik. Uh, Kartik. 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 Correct. because in Kartik we celebrate Govardhan Puja, correct? Around Diwali time. So Krishna lifted Govardhan in the month of Kartik. And how old was Krishna when he lifted Govardhan? Who can was tell? he eight years? Seven. 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 Seven, years. seven years. Yes, Krishna was seven years old. Krishna was eight years old when he did the Ras Lila. Hare Krishna. I remember once. Anyway, so eight years was when Krishna was performing the Ras Lila. Seven years was when Krishna lifted Govardhan. So in the month of Kartik, at the age of seven, Krishna lifted Govardhan. And which month comes? What, what Lila happens after the month of Kartik? One whole month there is a Lila going on after Kartik. What is that? Who can tell? Chir Haran. Chir Haran. Correct. What happens before Chirharan? Chirharan is the culmination. What happens before that? One month, what do they do? Kathyayani Vrata. Kathyayani Vrata ah, Kathyani Vrat becomes. Kathyani. Yes. So Kathyayani Vrat happens in the month after Kartik. So when Krishna was seven years old in the month of Kartik, he did Govardhan Dharan Lila. In the next month, the young gopis who were unmarried they performed the Katyayani Vrat for one month. And as a result of the Katyayani Vrat, they, um, they got a promise from Krishna that they will have him as their conjugal lover, as their husband in the future. So when Krishna was seven years old, he promised the unmarried gopis the Kumarikas who were young, they were five or six years old when they performed the Katya Nivrat. That next year, I will accept your prayer and I will fulfill your prayer. The exact words of Krishna in the 22nd chapter of the 10th Kent of Srimad Bhagavatam are Krishna says uh, in verse number 27, 10, 22, 27. Shrimad Bhagavatam 10, 22, 27. Krishna says, Yata bala vrajam siddha mayema ram syatha kshapah yad uddishya vratam idam cherur aryar chanam satihi. 
Go now, O girls, and return to Vraja. Yata, Abala, Vrajam. O girls, go to Vraja. Your desire will be fulfilled by me. For in my company, you will enjoy the coming nights. After all, this was the purpose of your Katyayani Vrat. So he calls them Sati, pure-hearted girls. And Krishna says that I will fulfill your desire next year. So Krishna was seven years old in during the Katyayani Vrat. At the end of the Katyayani Vrat, Krishna promised that next year I will accept you. So when Krishna was eight years old, on the first day of Kartik, first night of Kartik month, Sharat Purnima night, Krishna had the Raslila first time. First time. Krishna has Raslila every night in his Kishore Avastha as a youth. But the first Raslila took place on Sharat Purnima, which is today. That is why we are discussing this topic. So, <clears throat> Among the gopis who participated in the Raslila, there were different types of gopis. There is Srimati Radharani, Sri Lalita Sakhi, Sri Vishakha Sakhi, Sri Chandravali in the opposite camp. These are all Nitya Siddha gopis. Chandravali is the cousin sister of Srimati Radharani. So they have love for each other and they have rivalry also. Chandravali and Radharani. They are cousin sisters. Their fathers are real brothers. So, these are Nitya Siddha gopis. They were there in the Raslila. Because of them, the Raslila took place. But there were also other gopis who were Sadhana Siddha gopis. And some of them were um, the ladies who were living in Janakpuri. They were living in Mithila. When Sita and Ram got married, there were other unmarried girls in Mithila who saw Lord Ram. His beautiful lotus eyes, his ajan ubhuja, his long arms going down to his knees, his broad chest, his beautiful complexion. They were very much attracted by the beauty of Sri Ram. And they also wanted to get married to Sri Ram. But as Sri Ram, Dasharathi Ram, Dasharatha Nandana da Ram, Kausalya Sutta Ram, Sri Ram is Maryada Purushottam. He is Sitanath only. He is Maryada Purushottam. He is Ek Patni Vrata. He will have only one wife. So these um, these um, Raj Kumaris or these Kumaris from Janakpur, they were born in Krishna Leela as gopis of Vrindavan. All this is described in Garga Samhita. Then there were also Rishi Chari gopis. They were the Rishis in their previous life in Danda Karanya, in the forest, when Lord Ramchandra was in exile with Sita and Lakshman, he came to Danda Karanya, the forest called Dandaka. And there, these rishis were performing tapasya to get the Supreme Lord, and they had darshan of Sri Ram. Again, they were attracted by his beauty, and they wanted to serve Lord Ram in the fifth rasa, the Shringar Ras, Madhura Ras, conjugal love. So they were also given a chance. Their desire was fulfilled. And they were born in Vraj at the end of Dwapar Yuga in Krishna Leela as Vraj Gopis. They are called Rishichari Gopis. The personified Vedas also are ladies. And they said, why should we be left behind? We also want to have Krishna in the conjugal rasa in Vraj as the Shruti Chari Gopis. So there were the Nitya Siddha Gopis.
श्रुति चारी गोपी राधारानीशन Krishna expands himself as Abhimanyu for the sake of parakya bhav. Similarly, Chandravali also, the rival of Radharani, is an expansion of Radharani only. So, um, these are Nitya Siddha Gopis, and the Shrutis, the Upanishads, the Vedas, they are not directly manifesting from Radharani. They are manifesting from the breathing of Mahavishnu. Krishna, from the breathing of Narayan. So, in short, Lakshmi Devi also does not have, and Shivji also does not have. Shivji can witness as Gopishwar Mahadev after doing so much tapasya. He can witness. Lakshmi Ji can witness from a distance, from the other side of Yamuna. She can witness, cannot enter, cannot participate. So Narad Muni cannot participate. Shankar Bhagwan cannot participate. Lakshmi Devi cannot participate in the Rasalila. Such is the high standard of Rasalila, and the exalted, elevated position of Rasalila. These are, these are the descriptions in our Shastra. This is there in Shri Mad Bhagavatam. This is there in Chaitanya Charita. So the Shrutis also do not have entrance in the Rasalila. There are. people who argue with us gaudiya vaishnavas and say that oh you follow the bhagavat mahapuran but purans are not so high the highest scripture is the shruti shruti shastra the four vedas well let us examine what krishna says in bhagavad gita about the four vedas त्रैगुण्य विषया वेद निस्त्रैगुण्य भाव अर्जुन ओ अर्जुन द वेदास डिस्क्राइब अबाउट द थ्री मोड्स ऑफ मटेरियल नेचर बट यू शुड बिकम ट्रांसेंडेंट टू थ्री मोड्स ऑफ मटेरियल नेचर एंड हाउ टू बिकम कृष्ण एक्सप्रेस इन भगवद गीता बाय परफॉर्मिंग अव्यभिचारी भक्ति वन पॉइंटेड अन अलॉयड डिवोशन सर्विस टू कृष्ण माम चयो व्याभिचारेण भक्ति योग येन सेवते स गुणान समतित ब्रह्म भूयाय कल यू सी so vraj leela is ved agochar what is vraj leela it is ved agochar it is beyond the vedas even the vedas are performing tapasya offering prayers to enter the ras leela hare krishna so these shrutis they came as shruti chari gopis they were the nitya siddha gopis they were shruti chari gopis they were the rishi chari gopis from dandakaranya there were the uh, rajkumari gopis from janakpur and even the daughters of the devatas powerful devatas they wanted to participate in the raslila so they are called the devakanya gopis they also came and they were born in braj after performing tapasya for millions and millions of years they finally got entrance in the rasleela all these gopis are called sadhana siddha gopis so the nitya siddha gopis and different category of sadhana siddha gopis and they had pure love for krishna atmendriya priti ichha taro bale kam krishnendriya priti vancha dhare prem naam it is explained in chaitanya charitamrita the difference between kaam and prem kaam is lust mundane lust and prem is divine spiritual attraction for krishna atmendriya prithi ichha tara bale kaam when we want to satisfy our own senses we want to do indriya tripti it is called kaam lust when we want to gratify our senses enjoy with our senses it is called lust 
any sense eyes skin tongue ears nose with any indriya any sense organ if we want to enjoy ourselves it is called lust atma indriya priti ichha tara bale kaam it is called kaam lust krishna indriya priti vancha dhare prema naam but if you want to give pleasure to krishna you want to offer something to krishna you want to sing for krishna's pleasure you want to dress krishna nicely for krishna's pleasure then it is called prem krishna indriya priti ichha dhare prema naam it is called prem so these gopis they wanted to serve krishna and therefore they met with krishna for the sake of performing ras leela krishna actually played on the flute krishna played on his flute at vamshi vat to invite the gopis and because they had pure love for krishna they left everything to be with krishna and we will see that in gopi geet one verse will come where we see that they left everything for the sake of krishna and after leaving everything they came to the forest at vamshi vat hare krishna i'm sorry we again lost internet but I, can you hear me all yes okay good so <clears throat> krishna we are not getting krishna because krishna wants to increase our utkantha till we die krishna will increase our utkantha till we die we will always feel that we have not got krishna we have not got krishna because if we get krishna we will become proud and we will see that also in rasleela it happens in rasleela also so krishna he meets the gopis and they start their wonderful pastimes the rasleela begins and shrimati radharani is there in the rasleela and some of the sadhana siddha gopis now some sadhana siddha gopis could not enter the rasleela their family members stopped and they were very much separated and in separation they became united with krishna in separation in their meditation they became united with krishna this teaches us that sometimes we have unfavorable conditions at home some of you may be very fortunate husband wife both are devotees very easy to practice krishna consciousness when husband wife both are devotees but sometimes one spouse or some family members may be unfavorable and that makes it very difficult to practice krishna consciousness therefore i always advise when i am serving uh, devotees i always advise them that they should marry a devotee they should not compromise on this principle and i pray for all the devotees that i am serving that they get very nice krishna conscious devotee life partners so that together they can do bhajan together they can serve radha and krishna but some may not be fortunate and they may end up someone who is not a devotee and the situation is very unfavorable at home to practice bhakti but this leela from shrimad bhagavatam teaches us that even though we may be in a unfavorable situation where there is opposition to krishna consciousness at home we can still get krishna 
and therefore some gopis who were stopped from entering the raslila they meditated on krishna and in their separation in their viraha agni they were united with krishna so this teaches us that there is no actual badha in bhakti and pratikul paristhiti unfavorable situations actually bring us to the point of sharanagati and therefore bring us closer to krishna they bring us closer to krishna if draupadi devi would not have faced the extremely adverse situation in kuru sabha where she was being stripped we would not have seen krishna there is only one example where krishna became the cloth of somebody vastra avatar <laughs> there is nam avatar there is shri vigraha avatar there is grantha avatar shrimad bhagavatam but we have never seen a vastra avatar of krishna and tropadi devi made krishna and do you know that also has a very wonderful relationship with what we are discussing today krishna appearing as draupadi sari our acharyas explain that in the katyayani vrat that the kumarikas the gopikas the young gopis performed krishna came and as uh, uh, one of you said that it was uh, sugandha mata ji said i think that it was uh, the cheer haran lila took place where krishna took away the saris of these young gopikas young braj gopis it is said by our acharyas that it was the prayer of this braj gopis to krishna that we are giving you our saris because in the future one gopi one sakhi of yours will desperately need these saris so my dear krishna you please take these saris and when the need arises you give it from our side to draupadi devi to krishna our acharyas have said like this shri hari suri writes like this when he comments on the cheerhar and leela that the sari that draupadi got was given by krishna and it was the saris of the braj gopis because because if you read mahabharat draupadi devi invokes the gopis in her prayers when dushasana was pulling her sari draupadi devi prayed govinda dwaraka vasi krishna gopi jana priya kauravair paribhutana kim na jana si keshava o oh, keshava what is it that you don't know dushasan is saying that you cannot come to hastinapur because you are dwarka vas you are in dwarka so she begins govinda dwarka vasi yes he is dwarka vasi he is dwarka dhish but he is my govinda he is my vrindavan govinda govinda is the name of krishna in vrindavan and how is this very sweet everything is connected arjun married subhadra subhadra is the younger sister of krishna in dwarka <laughs> now jagannath who is jagannath if we read shripad adi shankar acharya's jagannath ashtakam in that shripad shankar acharya writes that jagannath is always feeling separation from vrindavan and he is always embraced by radharani correct you remember that verse of jagannath ashtakam where jagannath is always embraced by shri radha it is there so jagannath is dwarkadish krishna who is feeling separation from vrindavan correct gundicha is vrindavan and jagannath temple is dwarka so jagannath is dwarkadish krishna feeling separation from vrindavan balram is also he is balabhadra of dwarka but he is dauji of vrindavan feeling separation from vrindavan so they are both going to vrindavan and who is taking them to vrindavan subhadra devi what subhadra devi is a dwarka mood how subhadra devi has entrance in vrindavan what has subhadra devi got to do with vrindavan good question how she is standing between jagannath and balabhadra who are both feeling separation from vrindavan and want to go to vrindavan how subhadra devi is in between them 
there is a connection with draupadi devi who was arjun's first wife draupadi devi shrimati draupadi devi first wife later on krishna wanted to give his younger sister to the best devotee arjun so he told arjun to get married to his sister subhadra devi and then they had their vivaha they got married after subhadra devi got married to arjun what is the relationship between subhadra and draupadi they are co wives niche do co wives do co wives get along very harmoniously <laughs> never co wives uh, somebody has to mute yourself ha shade upar se wo transparent wala taki kir nahi jaye na bhavesh prabhu ji please uh, you can mute yourself i was thinking of the gujarati words how to reply but i'm not i don't know gujarati i'm trying to learn from some gujarati friends <laughs> prabhu ji i'll on mute okay hare krishna thank you so draupadi devi and subhadra devi are co wives and this relationship is very dangerous this relationship may kalah hota hi hai there is going to be quarrel in this relationship now draupadi devi is a very great vaishnavi mahabharat describes shila vyasdev writes that she is actually an expansion of lakshmi devi it is explained in the end of mahabharat because in the end of mahabharat um, draupadi devi is present in the spiritual world as an amsha as an expansion of lakshmi devi so draupadi devi is not an ordinary person she didn't have a birth like us coming from the womb of a mother she appeared from fire so she was extraordinary draupadi devi very great devotee and she had a very unique relationship with krishna like a sister of krishna draupadi devi krishna accepted her as his sister and who is subhadra she is also sister of krishna and now they are co wives of arjun so their relationship is fraught with danger very high risk of fighting so subhadra devi is younger than draupadi devi and she was feeling hesitation to go in the presence of draupadi devi who is the first wife of arjun so subhadra asked krishna har bhaiya that bhaiya mujhe bahut sankoch ho raha hai draupadi ke i am feeling subhadra devi told arjun subhadra devi told her brother krishna that bhaiya i am feeling great hesitation in going Uh, in the presence of draupadi devi because she may get angry with me that till now she was the only wife of arjun and now arjun has got another wife so draupadi devi may be angry with me so i am feeling hesitation going in front of draupadi devi you know what krishna told subhadra devi this is very sweet krishna told his younger sister subhadra that oh subhadra i know the heart of draupadi she loves me as rajendra nandan krishna see even in her prayers when she is being stripped in the kuru sama she is saying govinda dwaraka vasi krishna gopi jana priya krishna you are dear to the gopis and i am also gopi so will you not be merciful to me krishna gopi jana priya and in the next verse she says he nath he ramanath vrajanath artinashanam you are vrajanath you are the Uh, lord of vrindavan and vraja arti nashanam you destroy all the calamities that come on vraja and that also you will see in the gopi gita there is the second verse of gopi gita where krishna destroyed all the troubles of vrindavan so draupadi devi is invoking vraj in her prayers in kuru sabha just think of this beautiful connection so krishna and krishna saved draupadi so krishna is telling subhadra that i know the heart of draupadi she is always meditating on vrindavan draupadi is always meditating on vrindavan and she considers the gopis of vrindavan to be the highest why because they had supplied the sari to draupadi in her greatest hour of need so krishna told subhadra that you go in front of draupadi not as a princess of dwarka 
but you dress yourself as a simple vraj gopi as a lali of vrindavan dress yourself as a simple vraj gopi and go in front of draupadi and see what happens so the subhadra devi changed her clothes she removed her royal sari and she wore a simple gopi dress like a like a vraj gopi and subhadra for the first time goes in front of draupadi as soon as draupadi sees subhadra she is reminded of vrindavan <laughs> and she jumps from her sitting place runs to subhadra and lovingly embraces her oh gopi oh gopi oh gopi draupadi devi says and from that day subhadra and draupadi they were the best friends there was never any fight because Rajendra Nandan Krishna was in the center. Vrindavan was in the center of their relationship. This teaches us in our devotee relationships also. If we keep the mood of Vrindavan, Hari Bol, the Brajvasi spirit, if we keep it in the center, there will never be any kala. Kali will have no in, no influence on us. Kala ha lati iti kali. Kali is that age of quarrel, and it will have no influence if we have Brajvasi spirit. This is the proof of the from the shastra. so krishna stole the garments of the gopis in the at the end of kartik month and promised them that i will be with you and the next year during the first day of kartik on sharad purnima night krishna performed the ras leela and the ras leela took place and some of the sadhana siddha uh, sadhana siddha gopis could not enter but in separation they were united with krishna some sadhana siddha gopis who were able to enter the ras leela they were having our acharya is explain transcendental pride that krishna is so wonderful that he is dancing only with him because krishna expanded himself into as many um, krishna as there were gopis each gopi was dancing with krishna and each gopi was thinking that krishna is dancing only with me they were not looking elsewhere they were only looking at krishna who was dancing with them and they thought it's just me and krishna and the gopis are thinking that there are so many gopis but krishna is dancing only with me krishna is so merciful krishna is so much this is transcendental pride but to teach us a lesson see krishna leela has many layers of understanding one understanding is that there was slight pride in the heart of the gopis that is one explanation second explanation is radharani has a um vamya bhav there are two bhavs there is dakshin bhav and vamya bhav dakshin bhav is that of chandravali very submissive and vamya bhav is when radharani controls krishna through her anger man leela manini radha so radharani saw that krishna is not just dancing with me this lampat this krishna unchaste he is dancing with so many gopis i will not stay here and she left the ras leela so there are multiple reasons one was she saw the pride in the heart of some sadhana siddha gopis second reason was that she saw that krishna is being unchaste so radharani left when radharani left krishna had no taste in the ras leela ras leela which is the highest expression of prem shuddha prem pure love krishna abandoned the ras leela when radharani left which means that we have we can have no bhakti without radha without shri radha and we as gaudiya vaishnavas we have nothing to do with krishna i repeat we gaudias have nothing to do with krishna when he is not with radharani prabhupad always established radha krishna radha ras bihari radha sham sundar radha madhav radha london ishwar radha paris ishwar radha govinda in brooklyn everywhere shila prabhu established radha and krishna together because that is the rupanuga dhara that is our gaudiya mood that we never 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 worship krishna without radharani in fact even if krishna gives us his uchchhta his adar amrit take this if radharani has not tasted we don't want it because we are radharani spalya dasis this is our siddhanta we serve krishna we chant krishna krishna hare krishna hare krishna hare ram hare ram radha raman only because it gives pleasure to radharani and we serve krishna only and only because that makes radharani happy so there are sampradayas where they chant radha naam or we chant krishna naam <laughs> our movement is shri krishna sankirtan of course shri radharani shri ji 
<laughs> and hari is also radharani that is there but it is hidden because hare can also mean hari so some may say that are you are chanting hari naam you are chanting krishna naam we chant radha naam why we chant krishna naam why do gaudias chant krishna naam why mahaprabhu is saying krishna 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 he why mahaprabhu is saying krishna krishna not radha radha are wow because he is radha <laughs> why radha radha will chant her own name so why we chant krishna naam because it gives pleasure to mahaprabhu it gives pleasure to radha rani in fact his holiness mahanidhi swami maharaj in his book the art of chanting hare krishna everyone should buy this book art of chanting hare krishna by mahanidhi maharaj a very great disciple of shila prabhupada and read this book page by page with a notebook and take notes and go deep in your naam bhajan please do this almost all questions about the holy name are explained in this book very deep book the offenses are there the ashtakali lila is there the uh, the chinha on the lotus feet of radharani and krishna are there mahaprabhu everything is there in this book the art of chanting hare krishna by his holiness mahanidhi swami maharaj very beautiful book please read this book i highly recommend it and read it page by page with a notebook taking notes and try to practice what you are reading in this book in this book there is something phenomenal described about the hare krishna mahamantra why we gaudias chant hare krishna mahamantra it is described that hare krishna mahamantra is the mahamantra that shrimati radharani chants in golok vrindavan hare krishna mahamantra has emanated from the lotus mouth of shrimati radharani because radharani chants this hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare because it has got 16 names of krishna for radharani hare is hari she is calling out to her hari krishna is krishna sham sundar krishna and ram is radharaman so radharani is chanting these names of krishna for her pleasure and we are chanting hare krishna mahamantra which has got 16 names for radharani's pleasure because radharani herself is chanting now imagine radharani is getting so much pleasure by chanting and hearing the hare krishna mahamantra and as her palya das is we are giving her pleasure by chanting hare krishna mahamantra for her pleasure hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare when she hears hare is hari krishna is sham sundar krishna and ram is radharaman so she is hearing only names of her pranavallabh krishna however this hare krishna mahamantra is so unique that we as sadhaks when we chant hare is radharani because hare is also a name of radharani in radha sahasranam it is mentioned one of the names one of thousand names of radharani is hara hara devi one who steals the heart of hari who steals everyone's heart jo hari ke man ko har leti hai use kehte hara radharani ka naam hai radharani's name and in the vocative when you call her call hara it becomes hare when you call hari it also becomes hare in sanskrit in the vocative hara and hari both become hare so when we say hare krishna it is radhe krishna we say hare ram it is radha raman for us so it's a unique mantra when radharani hears she is only hearing krishna naam she is not hearing her naam because radharani does not want to hear her own name she wants to hear krishna's name if we chant radha 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 in front of radha she will say Shh! say krishna 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 so we are chanting hare krishna for radharani it is krishna naam for us it is radha naam before krishna naam it is hare krishna radhe krishna hare ram radha raman so it's a very unique mantra and this mantra hare krishna mahamantra is chanted in golok vrindavan by shrimati radharani therefore shri narottam thakur says golokera prema dhana hari nama sankirtana mahaprabhu has brought down the sankirtan of the spiritual world into this material world for us so therefore we chant hare krishna mahamantra because it gives pleasure to radharani radharani wants to hear hare krishna mahamantra the proof is there in chaitanya charitamrita and shripad madhavendra puri was leaving his body there were two disciples there were two puris ramchandra puri and ishwar puri ramchandra puri was reminding shripad madhavendra puri of the brahman and shripad madhavendra puri said it is my misfortune that at the time of my passing away you have come out of here go away and he drove away ramchandra puri but for ishwar puri 
was always chanting Krishna, 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 Krishna. And reminding Shripad Madhavendra Puri of Krishna, Shripad Madhavendra Puri blessed Ishwar Puri, embraced him and blessed him that may you always remember Krishna and may Krishna Prem rise in your heart. And from that day on, Shripad Ishwar Puri became the personification of Krishna Prem. And Mahaprabhu recognized him by accepting him as his own spiritual master. So if we assist the object of our worship in their mood, according to what they want, then they will be very pleased with us. So we chant Hare Krishna Mahamantra, we chant Hari Nam, we chant Krishna Nam, we do Krishna Kirtan for the pleasure of Radharani. There is no other reason for the pleasure of our Radharani. So externally we are doing Krishna Krishna, internally we are doing Radha Radha, Radha Radha, Radha Radha, my Radha, my Radha. That is the mood of Gaudiyas because we are Radharani's Palyadasis. Radharani is our ultimate object of worship. <coughs> So Radharani left the Raslila and Krishna also left behind Radharani. And then Krishna found Radharani and both of them were holding arms and walking in the forests of Vrindavan together. Vrindavan Bihari. Radha Vrindavan Bihari. This is Radha Vrindavan Bihari holding hands and walking in the different forests of Vrindavan. Now the gopi is back in the Raslila they are wondering, where is Radha and where is Krishna? Where are they gone? Both have disappeared. First Radha disappeared, then Krishna disappeared. Where are they? So all the gopis are now searching for Radha and Krishna. Both the camps. Radha and his camp is also searching. <laughs> Dalita Vishana is also searching. Where is our Swamini? And even Chandravali is looking. Where is Radhika? And her camp. They are all searching, searching, searching. And they see footprints of Radha and Krishna walking together. Then they see footprints of only Krishna. But these footprints are deeper. Which means Krishna is carrying Radha Rani. So beautiful. And then they see Srimati Radha Rani sitting alone and weeping in separation from Krishna. Because apparently Krishna had left Radha Rani. Hare Krishna. As Gaudiya's we get angry. How can this be possible? And once in Jhasi, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Prabhupada on Radhashtami was giving a lecture. It was either Jhasi or it was Allahabad. I'm not sure. One of these two places. Or maybe it was Gorakhpur. I don't know. I have to check. But this story is there uh, <clears throat> in the biography of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Prabhupada. I think I read it in the book by His Holiness Bhakti Vikas Swami Maharaj, Shri Bhakti Siddhanta Vani. Very nice three volume um, compilation on the glories of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur. But this is a very famous story. Please give me your 100% undivided attention. This story may not be appropriate to share publicly. But forgive me, I am feeling inspired to share this. So I will share. Please hear it with your heart. Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur on the auspicious tithi of Sri Radhashtami gave a lecture on the glories of Sri Bhakti Radharani. And Sri Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Prabhupada explained the supreme position of Sri Bhakti Radharani. And at the end, there was question answer. And a very learned Pandit who had studied Sriman Bhagavatam. But he was not a Upasak for Radha Dasyam. He asked a question. Quoting from Srimad Bhagavatam. That if Radharani's position is supreme, then why our Krishna left your Radharani and disappeared? And then Radharani was left lying on the ground in the forest, weeping and crying piteously in separation from Krishna. If Krishna is subservient to Sri Radha, Nirantaram Vashikrita Pratiti Nanda Nandane Kada Karisha Sihama Kripa Kataksha Bhajanam. This Saraswati Thakur quoted. Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur every day recited Radha Kripa Kataksha Stotra. Every day recited Vilap Kusumanjali. He had the whole Vilap Kusumanjali Kantasta. Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Prabhupada. And he chanted Shri Rupa Manjari Pada every day of Shri Narottam Das Thakur. 
Shri Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur is the most loyal and faithful maid servant of Shrimati Radharani. All our Gaudi Acharyas who are in their own way, we are Radharani. Ke and in a public assembly, this rascal is saying like this about Shrimati Radharani. To the Simha Guru, Shri Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Prabhupada. Guess what happened next? <laughs> Shila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Prabhupada he wanted to respond to this challenge to this question on Radhashtami but Shila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Prabhupada said that not everybody in this assembly is a Gaudiya and how will they understand the deep Siddhanta that I'm going to explain? They will not understand. But my Swamini, my Srimati Radharani is being attacked publicly. And I want to protect the dignity of Sri Radha. I want to speak back. I want to defend the supreme position of Sri Radha. But these fools will not understand at the same time. And they are not qualified to hear about my Radha. So in this dilemma, there was this internal tug of war in the soft butter like heart of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Prabhupada. So what happened? In this great tug of war, right then and there, on the Vyasasan, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur fell down unconscious. Hare Krishna. In this internal tug of war, such a pressure situation, I want to protect, I want to speak up for my Swamini. And these fools are not qualified to hear what to do. In this great internal turmoil, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Prabhupada collapsed. His disciples carried him away to the ashram immediately. The katha ended. And all the audience got up and left. So all of you also can get up and leave now. Hare Krishna. <laughs> When Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Prabhupada came back to his external consciousness, his dear disciples, like Srila Bhakti Rakshak Sridhar Maharaj and other Srila Bhakti Pramod Puri Maharaj, they were present. They asked Srila Saraswati Thakur Prabhupada that Prabhupada, we want to know the answer. We want to know the answer. Why Krishna left Sri Radha all alone in the forest? left her to weep and cry alone. Why? Why? You want to understand. Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Prabhupada explained why this is so. Are you all very, very eager to know the answer? <laughs> Hare Krishna. So please listen, not with your ears, but with your hearts. This is the deepest tattva of love. And this shows the heart of Sri Radha. Srimati Radharani, she left the Rasalila to teach a lesson to those gopis who had become a little proud that my Krishna does not like pride in the hearts of his devotees. Krishna is being merciful to you by dancing with you in Rasalila and you should be humble. You should be prideless. Oh, manina. But if you become proud, then you will not be able to please Krishna because Krishna finds no pleasure in the heart that is infected with pride. To teach this lesson, Radharani left. When Radharani left, Krishna found no pleasure in Rasila. He also left. He ran behind Radharani. And then they were having their wonderful pastimes. Their one Vihar Leela together. Krishna told Radharani, this Shri Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Prabhupada is speaking to his disciples in the inner chamber. The Gaudiya Siddhanta is being spoken. Shri Krishna requested Radharani, Radharani, now I just want to dance with you. Can we dance? Just you and me. And this is Radharani's heart. That's why Srila Prabhupada said, that Srila Ra Ra our Prabhupada used to explain 
that when a devotee is sincere, Radharani recommends us to Krishna. Remember, Prabhupada said that Radharani says that, oh Krishna, this devotee is better than me. Please accept him. And then we get accepted by Krishna. Prabhupada said this. This is the heart of Radharani. She sees every devotee as better than her. Hare Krishna. So when Krishna said to Radharani, now let us have our Ras Leela, just two of us. Shrimati Radharani immediately thought of all the gopis. Even the gopis who had become proud. She thought that these gopis are following behind me. All the gopis are followers of Shrimati Radharani. They gave up everything. They gave up their husbands, their parents, their children, their family, their social uh, customs, everything they left behind for the sake of my Krishna. And they came on the Sharat Purnima night to participate in the Ras Lila. Whatever it is, they may have their uh, faults, but they are devotees. They are devoted. Rai Sama Bhajanako Manato Meru Saman. That is Radharani. She says, no, no, these gopis, they are very nice devotees. Why should they be deprived of Krishna's association? How can I have Rasila with Krishna when all these other gopis are suffering in separation from Krishna? So Radharani told Krishna that my dear Krishna, I don't want to enjoy with you alone. All the other gopis, they are also sincere devotees. They may have some deficiencies, but please accept them. The way they are, please accept them. Don't reject them, please. This is my request to you. So Krishna said, okay. Let's go. Let's accept them. Radharani is so sensitive. Radharani said, but my dear Krishna, if both of us go and get reunited with all the other gopis, they will know that you were with me. And for so many hours, just two of us were together. So they will become angry with you. That why Krishna left us for Radha? And why for so many hours when we were searching for them, Krishna chose to be only with Sri Radha? My dear Krishna, my dear Shamsundar, all these gopis will get angry with you. And I don't want that. And Krishna is thinking, my dear Radha, if all these gopis come to know that just two of us were together alone, then they will become envious of you. And I don't want that. I don't want gopis to become envious of you, Radha. And Radharani is thinking, I don't want the gopis to get angry with you, Krishna. So Radharani told Krishna that you do me a favor. You hide behind those trees. And I will start crying that you have left me. So when the gopis come, they will come to know that just like you left all of them, you left me also. And then they will not be angry with you and they will not be envious with me. So you go quickly, go quickly, go the gopis are coming. You quickly go hide and I will start crying. And Srimati Radharani sat there crying and when the gopis came, she told them that Krishna left me. I became proud. I told Krishna to carry me on his shoulder that Krishna left me and I am crying. Then suddenly the gopis were overwhelmed with sympathy for Radharani. <laughs> now, this is the Gaudiya Tattva, my dear. This is the heart of Sri Radha. And those people were not qualified to hear this. Therefore, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasthava, not being able to tolerate the pain of not being able to defend the position of Srimati Radharani. And at the same time, hearing Srimati Radharani being criticized like this in an assembly, he fell unconscious. But later on, he explained the Siddhanta, the Gaudiya Siddhanta, why Radharani was left there. So the gopis come <clears throat> and they try to pacify Radharani. And then Radharani says, okay, now all of us together, let us search for Krishna. And then the search for Krishna begins. They are asking the deer with the beautiful antlers, have you seen Krishna? They are asking the peacock with the beautiful feathers, have you seen Krishna? But they are getting no response. They are asking the Kadamba tree, the Tamal tree, have you seen Krishna? The Banyan tree, have you seen Krishna? They get no response. Then the gopis think that these are all men. The Banyan tree is Purush. The peacock is Purush. The deer with the antlers is a Purush, is a male. 
So they will not understand the sufferings of us females. So let us ask Tulsi Maharani. They saw Tulsi plant there. So they went and they looked at the Tulsi plant. And you can all do this exercise today. Look at the Tulsi plant. You have Tulsi Devi there in your place in Canada? Yeah. So go and look at Tulsi Maharani. Look at the branches of Tulsi Maharani. You will see her hair standing on end. Tulsi Maharani has fine hair and it is always standing erect on end as if she's in ecstasy. So the gopis, they looked at Tulsi and they saw her hair standing on end. They said, yes, Krishna must have passed by and he must have while passing just touched the Tulsi plant and therefore Tulsi Maharani has erupted in ecstasy. Her hair is standing on end. They start asking Tulsi Maharani, Kas Tulasi Kalyani Govinda Charana Priye Sahatwali Kulair Bibra Drishtasteti Priyachuta O Tulsi Maharani Kas Tulasi Kalyani you are Kalyani. Hamara bhi Kalyan karo. Hamare prashna ka uttar deke. Aur koi uttar nahi de raha hai. Nobody else is answering our questions. You please answer our question. And Govinda Charana Priya. You are very dear to the lotus feet of Govinda. Kaschit Tulasi Kalyani Govinda Charana Priya Sahatwali Kulair Vibra Drishtasteti Priyachuta Did you see Krishna? Drishtaste Priyachuta. Have you seen our Priyachuta? And how is he? He is wearing your garland. He is wearing a Tulsi garland with bumblebees buzzing around. Bzzz. Have you seen Krishna pass by this way? In this way, the gopis were searching and searching and searching and searching for Krishna. And in their pangs of separation, in their virhadasha, a beautiful song manifested from their hearts. And this is Gopi Geet, 19 verses. And different gopis are chanting different verses. Okay? So some verse was recited by Lalita Sakhi, some by Vishakha Sakhi, some by Tunga Vidya, some by Champaklata, Sudevi. Different, different gopis. Some verses are chanted even by both the gopis together. So one Radha Paksha gopi and one Radha Vipaksha gopi from Chandravali camp. They are singing the same verse and they have double meanings. But today we don't have time for all that. But... Uh, Actually, every verse of uh, Gopi Geet has at least two meanings. One, when it is recited by the gopis in the camp of Radharani and one meaning when it is recited by the gopis in the camp of Chandravani. So let us quickly look at the Gopi Geet. And uh, <clears throat> I will try to open. It is from the 10th canto of Srimad Bhagavatam. <clears throat> this Gopi Geet, 18 verses were chanted by different different gopis and then the final verse the 19th verse of the gopi geet was chanted by Srimati radharani and that 19th verse which was chanted by Srimati radharani made krishna appear so i will share my screen now oh i'm not able to share Prabhu, can you make me the co-host so i'm able to share the screen so the 19th verse, which was recited by Srimati Radharani, all the gopis, they chanted different verses and Krishna was pleased. But Krishna was not uh, forced to appear. But when Radharani uh, chanted her verse, um, it so happened that Krishna had was forced to appear there. Also, another important principle when the gopis, the Srimad Bhagavatam describes, when the gopis were searching for Krishna, some gopis ran ahead of Radharan. And under a tree, they found Krishna. But Krishna had taken the form of Narayan. Chatur Bhujmurti. Four-armed form of Narayan. Krishna took the form of Narayan. And these gopis went and they asked Narayan, bowed down to Narayan, Hey Bhagavan Narayan, have you seen our Krishna? Have you seen our Shamsundar? And Narayan pointed with all his four arms in one direction, particular direction, go that way. So the, all the gopis, they ran in that direction. But when Radharani came and asked the same question, have you seen Krishna? Krishna, who was in the form of Narayan, could not maintain his four-armed form and two of his arms disappeared. And he dropped his Shankha Chakra Padma Gada and he picked up his flute for the pleasure of Radharani. So what do we understand from this? That if we run in front of Radharani, we will be cheated by Krishna. We will be misdirected and we will not get Krishna. But if like the other gopis, like Lalita and Vishaka Saki, if we are running behind Radharani, 
if we are following behind radharani then we will get krishna so finally they found krishna but before that they chanted the gopi geet so let us look at the gopi geet i am going to share my screen this is there are five geets in the 10th canto of shrimad bhagavatam and this is the pancha pran of shrimad bhagavatam just like in our body there is pancha pran there is pran vayu the pran of shrimad bhagavatam who is non different from krishna different cantos of shrimad bhagavatam dif, uh, represent the different angas of krishna the first two cantos represent the lotus feet of krishna for example similarly the 10th canto of shrimad bhagavatam is the most important part of shrimad. it represents the lotus face of krishna and within this 10th canto there is the pancha pran of shri krishna and these are the five songs in the 10th canto there is the venu geet there is the uh, viraha geet there is the pranay geet there is the um, bhramar geet and ultimately there is the gopi geet of all the five songs the gopi geet is the highest and <clears throat> at least one of these geets we should chant every day during the month of kartik there are devotees who take a vrat of chanting all the five uh, geets from 10th canto shrimad bhagavatam and they recite it every day if some of you are interested in doing that you can send me a message i can share with you the pdf containing all the five geets the pancha pran of shrimad bhagavatam and avrat can be taken to recite them read them every day today is the first day so we have time okay or for you tomorrow is the first day right kartik begins tomorrow in canada okay in vrindavan it has started already so you can uh, ask and i can share i can share with damodar uh, charan prabhu if you all are interested and he can share with all of you <clears throat> so the gopi geet is the most important song so let us sing it together <clears throat> this is the gopi geet the 31st chapter of shrimad bhagavatam 10th canto gopya uchu so gopya is plural which means not one gopi but <clears throat> different gopis sang this gopi geet in unison what does this teach us our path of shri krishna sankirtanam is not a path of doing it alone eka ki amar pahe nahi bala hari naam sankirtane shila bhakti on thakur says eka ki amar nahi paya bala i don't have the strength to carry on this sankirtan movement alone <coughs> it is a movement where we do it together we go together so the gopis are doing sankirtan together they are chanting so sankirtan जयति ते जन्म व्रज श्रयत इंदिरा शि दैत दृश्यता दिक्षुतावकाधृता सवस्वाम विचिन्वते द गोपीज आर ग्लोरिफाइन कृष्ण जयति ते अधिक दिस जन्म न व्रज this vrindavan has become most glorious because you have appeared here janmana vraja this is the proof that krishna was born in vrindavan hare krishna so who was born in mathura in king kamsa's karagriha kamsa's jail it was an expansion of krishna vrajendra nandan krishna never leaves vrindavan vrindavanam parityajya padam ekam nagachati krishna will never leave vrindavan krishna is never born in mathura that is mathura nath <laughs> who appeared there and when uh, vasudev maharaj brought him to vraj he merged with rajendra nandan krishna and when akrur came he took mathura nath krishna away and our rajendra nandan krishna remained in vrindavan but in a hidden form just like he is hiding now when the gopis are searching for him <laughs> so janmana vraja clear proof the highest chapter this is the best chapter of shrimad bhagavatam there is no chapter higher than this out of the 335 chapters of shrimad bhagavatam this is the topmost so every day if you take a vrat every day of my life i will recite this chapter what a nice vrat it is you are reciting the most important chapter of shrimad bhagavatam and doesn't take much much time it can be included in our daily bhajan to recite the gopi geet every day it is the highest so jayati te adhikam janmana vraja this vraj has become very very glorious 
Jayati Adhikam because Janma, you have taken birth here in Vrindavan. Shrayata Indira, even Indira, Lakshmi Devi has taken uh, residence in Vrindavan. And we know in Vrindavan, she is performing tapasya to enter into the Ras Leela. And is Lakshmi Devi here just for temporary purpose? No. Shrayata Indira Shashwad Atrahi. She is right here. Right here in Vrindavan. Lakshmi Devi, Indira Devi. Because she wants to enter the Ras Leela. So even Lakshmi Devi has eternally resided in Vrindavan. Agaya vai kuntha sara tere barsane Ladali adbhud nazara tere barsane Agaya vai kuntha sara tere barsane My whole vai kuntha is present here in Vraj. So Indira is there, Lakshmi Devi is there and also this entire Gopi Geet Except the 19th verse. 19th verse is Masanda Tilak. But all the other 18 verses are in uh, Sanskrit Chanda called Indira. And therefore to indicate that very expertly the gopis in the first verse have indicated what meter it is. If you want to sing Gopi Geet, oh, this is the meter. You have to sing it. And it's in Indira uh, Chanda. Hmm? So sh Shrayata Indira Shashwad Atrahi. Always Lakshmi Devi is uh, residing here. Daita drishatam dikshutavaka stvai dhrita sava stvam vichinavate. And daita drishatam. Oh beloved, so in every verse we will see Krishna is addressed by the gopis with a certain name. So as we go along the 19 verses, I want all of you to pay attention to the different names of Krishna, different addresses to Krishna in all the verses of Gopi Gita. It's very sweet. They don't address Krishna as, Oh Govinda, Oh Madhusudan, Oh Murari. No, 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 no. These are very intimate names. They call him Priya. They call him Daita. So here he is called as Daita. Oh dear most Krishna. Drishatam. Please, please. We are searching for you everywhere. In all directions. Dikshu. Dik means different directions. We are, we are Tavaka. We belong to you, Krishna. We are yours. We are searching for you everywhere, oh dear Krishna, oh Daita, Krishna. <clears throat> and for your sake we live. Tvai Dhrita Savas. We are, we are maintaining our life, life air, Shwas. Our Pranavayu we are maintaining. For your sake, Tvai. And we are searching. Which in what we are searching everywhere for you. Krishna, please become visible to us. So in the first verse, they are saying, Krishna, we live for you. We are yours. You are our beloved Daita. Tavakas, we belong to you. And we are searching everywhere for you. Oh, Krishna, please become visible to us. Because of you, even Indira Devi, Lakshmi Devi is always residing in Vraj. And because of you, because you took birth here, this land has become glorious. So they are praying to Krishna like that. Please become visible to us. We are searching for you everywhere. Sharadu dashaye sadhu jata sat sarasi jodara shri mushadrisha suratanathate shulka dasika varadani ganato neha kim vadaha Sharat means this today is Sharat Purnima. Isn't it? Sharat Purnima. So Sharat of the autumn season. Udashaya, the reservoir of water, sadhu, very beautiful, excellently, jata, grown, sat, fine, sarasicha. So, uh, saras, sarasi is water and germ born from water. That is the lotus flowers. Very beautiful lotus flowers have appeared in this Sharat season. And your lotus eyes, so Krishna's eyes are lotus. And lotuses are blooming. So they are saying, your glance is excellent. It is exceeding in beauty all these beautiful lotuses that are blooming tonight in the Sharat season. So we want your glance. We want your, uh, we want to see you. Suratanath Suratanath. 
रत रति सुरतनाथ द लॉर्ड ऑफ कॉन्जुगल रस द लॉर्ड ऑफ श्रृंगार रस सुरतनाथ सो हियर दे आर एड्रेसिंग व्हाट इज द नेम ऑफ कृष्णा इन दिस वर्स सुरतनाथ सुरत एंड सुरत मींस द सुरतनाथ मींस द लॉर्ड ऑफ लव सुरत मींस लव सुरति सुरतनाथ ओ लॉर्ड ऑफ कॉन्जुगल रस ओ लॉर्ड ऑफ श्रृंगार रस ओ लॉर्ड ऑफ आदि रस ओ लॉर्ड ऑफ माधुर्य प्रेम हु आर वी अशुल्क दासिका वी आर योर अनपेड मेड सर्वेंट्स वी डोंट वांट एनी रिम्यूनरेशन फॉर आवर सर्विस वी जस्ट वांट यू वी डोंट वांट एनी न धनम न जनम न सुंदरी दैट इज द तात्पर्य ऑफ अशुल्क दासिका वी डोंट वांट sense gratification we don't want liberation we don't want name fame pratishtha no nothing we want we just want you we are ashulka dasika we are smed servants without any pay and another name of krishna is varada o giver of benedictions you are varada your name is varada o krishna you like to give benedictions to your devotees and the only benediction we ask is you become visible to us you become visible to us please and if you don't become visible then we will die and killing your ashulka dasika killing your unpaid servants isn't that vada isn't that murder you are killing us by being away from us so don't be a murderer the whole world will criticize you that you have killed millions of ladies we don't want you to be criticized but we will die if you don't become visible so please become visible to us and save us so they are again praying for krishna to be visible and they are addressing krishna as suratanath the lord of love and varada o oh, giver of benediction only give us this one benediction become visible to us now this is the verse i was referring to where krishna is vrajanath arti nashanam arti nashanam he destroys all the calamities on vraja vishajalapyayad vyalarakshasad varshamaruta dvaidyutanalat हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण डियर डिवोटिव सो सॉरी आई गेन लॉस्ट माई इंटरनेट आई एबल टू हियर मी नाउ ओके यू कैन हियर ओके गुड सो लेट मी शेयर माई स्क्रीन वंस मोर सो वी आर ऑन द थर्ड वर्स देर आर नाइनटीन वर्सेस सो हियर द गोपीज आर प्रेइंग to krishna that he is arti nashanam he has destroyed all the calamities that came on vraja and they are remembering the different times krishna protected them see visha jalapyayad vyala rakshasad visha means from the poison of kaliya kaliya had poisoned the lake of yamuna and so many trees had died so many cows had died so many gopas had died and krishna saved them by jumping into the poisonous water and subduing kaliya driving kaliya out removing his poison so the gopis are remembering this visha you saved us from the visha the poison of kaliya visha jala the poisoned water then you also saved us from vyala rakshasad the fearsome demon aghasur who came as a big the demon aghasur he had swallowed all your friends and you say you killed him and saved us saved all your friends so you saved us from vyala rakshas the aghasura demon the brother of putana varsha you saved us from varsha varsha sent by rain uh, the indra dev indra dev's uh, samvarta clouds the devastating rain that indra had sent you saved us from indra's rain by remember govardhan dharan leela that happened last year so they remember that you saved us from varsha maruth 
you saved us from the tornado demon the wind demon called trinavarta you saved us from trinavarta marut means wind vaidyut vaidyut means the lightning whose thunderbolt indra's thunderbolt remember indra also did vajrapath he was attacking vraj with not just clouds but also with his thunderbolt and by lifting govardhan krishna saved the vrajvasis from vaidyut from the lightning thunderbolt of indra and anala 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 means from the forest fire samsara davanala lidhaloka so anala is forest fire and krishna saved the vrajvasis from the forest fire twice twice he saved he swallowed the forest fire davagni pan isn't it so the gopis are remembering krishna saved us from the forest fire vrisha saved us from anishthasur so again my internet connection is saying is unstable you just give me a thumbs up if you are able to hear not able to hear you are able to hear okay okay Your internet connection is unstable i am very sorry so you, krishna saved them from uh, vrisha vrisha is the bull demon arishthasur mayatma jat the son of the demon maya maya and who was the demon who was the son of the uh, of maya mayatma jat it is vyomasur saved from vyomasur and uh, <clears throat> vishvato bhayad and in this way not just from uh, vrishabhasur arishthasur not just from vyomasur but you saved us from so many different calamities like shakatasur also you saved us so you saved us from all these calamities you saved us from all these dangers and fears vishvato bhayad rishabha now here krishna is addressed as rishabha rishabha means the best of the personalities krishna is the best of all personalities rishabha te vayam rakshita muhu muhu again and again you saved us <coughs> rakshita you saved us from all these calamities avashya rakshibe krishna but now we are being tormented by the demon of viraha agni we are burning in separation from you krishna now will you not save us and if you had to kill us like this in separation from you then why did you save us so many times you should have allowed us to be killed by all these demons in the past kyu bachaya agar marna hi tha to aisa that is the bhav of the gopis verse number 4 न खलु गोपिका नंदनो भवान अखिल देहि नाम अंतरात्म ग्रेग विखन सार्थितो विश्व गुप्तये सखौ देवान सात्वतां कुले नाउ कृष्णा स्टिल नॉट अपीयर्ड इट्स द फोर्थ वर्स स्टिल कृष्णा इज नॉट विजिबल टू देम सो द गोपीज आर सेइंग नाउ दे गेटिंग एंग्री दे सेइंग न खलु गोपिका you are not the son of yashoda maiya who is gopika you cannot be the son of because yashoda is so soft hearted <laughs> you are so hard hearted we are crying we are dying in separation from you and still you are not appearing before us so na khalu gopika you are definitely not the son na khalu indeed you are not the son of gopika yashoda nandano bhavan and bhavan is a very respectful way of saying oh krishna you are not even the son of nanda maharaj you cannot be nanda nandan krishna nanda no bhavan you cannot be nanda nandan krishna because nanda maharaj also is our king and he is such a merciful king but you are merciless you are killing us by being separated from us nakhalu gopika nanda no bhavan akhila dehi nam antaratma drek now the gopis are being really sarcastic so we can guess which camp is speaking this verse can you guess is it radharani's camp or chandravali's camp loudly say shri radha <laughs> shrimati radha rani scam hmm? so they are sarcastically chastising krishna oh you are not the son of you are not yashoda dulal krishna you are not nanda nanda krishna who are you akhila dehi nam antaratma drek you are the parmatma who is in everyone's heart sarvasya chaham hridi sanni bolte hain na tum geeta ji mein ki tum sabke hriday mein ho to theek hai tum parmatma ho tum koi hamare sham sundar nahi ho you are parmatma now what is the quality of parmatma he is the drishta he is the witness of all that happens to us so we may suffer in this world we may get cancer we may get heart attack we may have a road accident we may be suffering and the parmatma is witnessing correct he is in the heart all times witnessing everything that is happening 
what is the use of such a witness? He doesn't do anything. He's just witnessing. The gopis are saying, you are also like the Paramatma. You are simply witnessing, hiding behind trees and witnessing our suffering, but you are not coming before us. You are not manifesting yourself to us. You are remaining in invisible, just like the Paramatma. So this is chastisement to Krishna. They're comparing him to Paramatma. Akhila dehi na mantaratma drek vikhana sarthito vishwa guptaye so you are not our Krishna. You are, I think, Vishnu. Who comes for the sake of Vikhanasa, the name of Brahma. Vikhanasa Arthito. You have come for the sake of Artha, for the sake of Brahmaji. Because in the on the banks of the Kshir Sagar, Ocean of Mil, Brahmaji, in the first chapter of 10th Kanto, yeah, he had prayed that there is too much disturbance, earth is overburdened, and you said, I will come. Oh, so you are that Vishnu who has come to relieve the burden of earth. But you will relieve the burden of earth, but you will not relieve our burden. You are that Vishnu Paramatma. <laughs> Kshirodakshai Vishnu. <laughs> Kshirodakshai Vishnu. You have come for the sake of Brahmaji, Vishwa Guptaye, to protect the Vishwa. Pure Vishwa ko bachao, lekin apne Vraj Gopiyo ko marne do. Aisa, that is Ashe of saying this verse, uh, chastising Krishna. But itna, they are chastising Krishna so much, but after chastising Krishna, what are they saying? Sakha. So Krishna is addressed in this verse as Sakha. Oh friend, so even though he is killing them, he is protecting the whole universe, Vishwa Gupta Ye, but not protecting them by appearing before them. They are saying, ultimately, they are calling Krishna as Sakha in the last line. Oh dear friend, oh Sakha Krishna, Udeivan Satvatam Kule. You have appeared in the Satvata clan for the sake of Brahmaji. Vikhana Sarthito. You have appeared for the sake of Brahmaji. You have not appeared for our sake. So why you will become visible to us? Uh, we understand. We understand. It's not your fault. Like that they are sarcastically chastising Krishna. That after all, you have come for the sake of Brahmaji, not for our sake. But they are addressing Krishna in this verse as Sakha. Oh dear friend of ours. Verse number five. Virachita bhayam vrishnidhuyate charanam yusham samsmritir bhayat karasaro ruham kanta kamadam shirasidehinaha shri karagraham Vrishnidhurya. In this verse, Krishna's name is Vrishnidhurya. The best of the Vrishna dynasty. O oh, best of the Vrishnis, your Shrikara, Shrikara, your lotus hand, which holds the hand of goddess of fortune, Abhayam, it grants fearlessness to those who approach your lotus feet. Abhayam Sarvadatasmai Dadami Etad Vratam Mama. Krishna gives fearlessness to anybody who approaches lotus feet. Bhajahuremana, Shrinanda Nandana, Abhaya Charanara, Vindara. The Gopis are saying, anybody who approaches your lotus feet, you place your lotus hand, Shrikara, on their head and you give them fearlessness. Now, we are so much afraid of this separation from you. We are so much distressed in separation from you, in this Viraha Dasha. Please, Shri Kara Graham. Please now place Dehi, Shirasi Dehi, on our head. You please place your lotus hand and please save our life. We are, we are, we are surrendering to you. Oh Krishna, please place your lotus hand upon our head. So our Acharya explained that this verse was also spoken by Srimati Radharani's camp and it is spoken sarcastically. And the Krishna who they embrace, why they will say, put your hand on our head? Ki, oh, do, place your hand on our head. Why they will say that to Krishna? So it is sarcastically that, oh, you are Vishnu. You are not our Shamsundar. You are Vishnu. You are Bhagwan. You have come for the sake of the four-headed Chaturmukhi Brahmaji. So, okay, hat do, sir, please place your lotus hand upon our head and give us Ashirwan. Bhagwan, you are not our Kant. Nahi. So, you have to Kant karke address kiya. Third, look at the third line. Krishna addresses lover, Kant. But they are saying, put your hand on our head. <laughs> See the, uh, the sarcasm. It's very beautiful. Gopi Gita has so much bhav. 
This ras is not to be found anywhere. You will not find this ras in the Purushnukta prayers. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Where Krishna is being chastised left, right and center. Bhagavatam is so deep. Can you imagine what Rasa, Mahaprabhu and Gadadhar Pandit and Raya Ramananda and Swarup Damodar Gosai must be experiencing when they are discussing this in Jagannath Puri every day for four hours. They were three to four hours in the afternoon. They would go to Tota Gopinath and discuss all this. So beautiful. Actually, there is so much. There are so many commentaries written on the 10th canto and uh, we don't have time. There is Sanatan Goswami's Brihad Vaishnav Toshani, Jiva Goswami's Laghu Vaishnav Toshani. There is the Saras Darshanitika of Chakravarti Pad and um, Shridhar Swami's commentary is there. All our acharyas have commented on the 10th canto. Shila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur has also commented. But we don't have time to discuss all this. I am already 10 minutes over time. But let's not stop. Text number 6. Aaj ke din, anyway, it is Saturday. Tomorrow is Sunday. There is no school. There is no office. So please drink this. Vraja jana artihan vira yoshita nija jana smaya dvam sana smita bhaja sakhe bhavat kinkarismano jala ruhananam charu darshaya <coughs> Vraja jana arti han. See this? Parallels the prayers of Draupadi Devi. Vraja nata arti nashanam. Vraja jana arti han. Krishna, you are the destroyer of all the sufferings that come upon the Vrajajana, the Vrajvasis. And you are Veera. You are very, very brave. You are his, Krishna is addressed here as hero. Veer. So every verse Krishna is addressed. So he was Daita, he was Nath, Suratanath. Now here he is addressed as Veera. So one of the names of Krishna is Veer. <coughs> so, O oh Veer, O oh Krishna, Tum itne Veer ho, itne Shur Veer ho, or Yoshitam, Ladkiyo ko, you are leaving these girls alone in the forest. Kaise Veer ho tum? <laughs> so here also there is sarcasm. Who is speaking this? Radharani scan. But all these verses, verse number 6, the previous verse, verse number 5, verse number 4, they are also spoken by Chandravali scan. So they are in awe and reverence. Chandravali is saying, put, place your hand on my head. Galti ki man aapko apna kant man ke. I made a mistake considering you to be my kant. Please put your head on my head. Your, your, your hand on my head. So in the Dakshin bhav, in the submissive bhav, Chandravali and her gopis are saying the direct meaning. But the hidden meaning, the double meaning is from Radharani's camp. The Vamya bhav gopis. Radharani's sakhis. They are saying like that. So here, both the meanings are. There is the direct straight meaning and then there is the hidden meaning. So they are saying, uh, O hero, O veer, um, smaya dhamsana smita. That all the pride that women have, yoshitam, all the pride that they have in their beauty, it is shattered by your beautiful smile. Your smile is so beautiful. So, O oh, Sakhe, again Krishna address here as Sakhe, oh friend, we are your kinkari, bhavat kinkari, bhaja sakhe bhavat kinkari smana, na means we, we are your maid servants, kinkari. So please show us your beautiful lotus face. Jala ruha is lotus, lotus flower that sprouts in the water. So jala ruha and ananam means face. Ravan is called Dashanan. <laughs> Ganapati is called Gajanan. And Krishna is called Jalaruha Anan. Lotus Eyed Lord. So beautiful. And Charu. Sucharu Vakramandalam. Charu. Very beautiful face. Darshaya. Dikhao, dikhao aapka. Darshan do Bhagwan. Oh, please. So Chandravali is saying Darshan do Bhagwan. And Radharani is saying. Darshan do o veer jangal mein hume chhod ke bhaag gaye ho. Darshan do do. <laughs> Phir dikhayenge tumhe. <laughs> Nikunj ke bahar khada karenge. So different bhaavs are there. Different moods are there in Gopi Geet. Both the Vipaksha and Paksha. Radha Paksha and Radha Vipaksha Gopis are singing. Same verse, different meanings. Dekho. Aur humare acharyo ne iska aswadhan liya hai. 
our acharyas have tasted the nectar of this gopi geet therefore they have voted that the best highest chapter is this gopi geet there are so many layers of rasa in this so here the gopis are praying again jalaru hanana charu darsha we want to see your lotus face give us darshan give us darshan please we are king kari we are your maid servants ಪ್ರಣತೀನಾಂಪಾಪಕರ್ಷಣಿಕೇತನಂಪಣಿಫಣಾರ್ಪಿತಂತೆಪದಾಂಬುಜಂಕೃಣುಕುಚೇಷು surrendered to your surrendered souls pap karshanam you destroy the sins of those who surrender to you but trina charanugam who is trina charanugam the cows jo trin ke piche bhagte hai wherever they see grass the cows go there so cows are called so look at the beautiful poetry trina charanugam and also let me show you something look at this verse number 7 everybody can see verse number 7 see the poetry the first and the seventh syllable is the same in every line dekho pa pa tra yahan pe nahi hai fa pa kra krindi see this first and seventh is same and uh, vraja veera uh many places it is like that vira vrishni kara kanta shirasi shri nakhalu nandano akhila antara vikhana vishwa sakha satvata sa is repeated visha vyala varsha vaidya वृषा विश्व ऋषव रक्षित देख रहे कितना सुंदर है इज सो ब्यूटिफुल सच पोएट्री शरद साधु सरसी श्री सुरता शुल्क जयती जन्म श्रयता शश्वत दयित दीक्षु त्वयि त्वाम देखो <laughs> so beautiful this gopi geet is so beautiful it's not just deep in meaning but even just from a literary sense such beautiful poetry so here they are praying that trina charanuga shri niketanam o shri niketan o shri nivas o shri pati shri ji is present lakshmi ji is always present not shri ji shri ji is our radharani but lakshmi ji is always present on your chest as shri vatsa and although you are the husband of the goddess of fortune you are shri niketan you are doing gocharan leela you are grazing the cows so pranata dehi naam papa karshanam jo aapke charan one who surrenders at a lotus feet gets freedom from all sins but those lotus feet that you worship trina charanugam shri niketanam wherever the cows go your lotus feet go behind the cows hmm? now the cows may go krinu kucheshu nah krindhi richhayam the cows they have hoofs correct hard hoofs so they don't feel the pain of thorns but you have very soft lotus feet and when you go here and there behind the cows your feet get hurt to yahan pe shri niketanam why shri niketanam has been used that shriniketana you are the abode of the goddess of fortune which means your father nanda maharaj has lot of shri he has lot of wealth he has 900000 cows he has so many servants why nanda baba cannot send servants to take care of the cows and graze the cows why he has to send you because when you go our heart pains because your lotus feet will get hurt in the forest where there are sharp stones and thorns and then they are saying ಫಣಿಫಣಾರ್ಪಿತಂ ಪದಾಂಬುಜಂ 
you dance on the head on the hoods of kaliya you are putting your lotus feet on the heads of kaliya can you please uh, rit shayam can you please place your heart uh, your, your feet upon our heart and relieve the pain that we are feeling in our heart that is the meaning so you are so merciful that you can place your lotus feet on the hoods of that poisonous serpent kaliya now we are requesting you we are praying please put your lotus feet in our heart so that the agony in our heart will be relieved madhuraya gira valgu vakyaya budh manognaya pushkarekshana vidhi karirima viramuyati radhara sidhuna pyaya yasvana so here krishna is called as again veera and he is called that oh lotus eyed one your sweet madhuraya gira gira means your voice madhur it's very sweet and valgu vakya how are your words they are valgu they are very charming your words are charming your voice is very sweet and you are very very attractive and you are bewildering us more and more please relieve us by giving us adhara sidhuna the nectar that restores our life please give yourself to us so that our life is restored adhara sidhuna pyaya yasvanah so they are pray, saying nah us they are praying in plural, plural not just save me save us sankirtan they are praying for all of them please save all of us so certain very esoteric terms i am modifying as i am speaking because that is to be relished privately not publicly so this gopi git is very confidential so they are saying that please give yourself to us and by giving yourself to us please save us because without you we are dying tava katha amritam tapta jeevanam kavi bhiriditam kalma shapaham shravana mangalam shrimadatatam bhuvi grinanti ye bhuri dajana so here the glories of krishna katha is spoken that tava katha amritam your krishna katha is amrit and the and radharani's camp is saying tava katha amritam your katha is death because anybody who hears your katha falls in love with you and then you leave them like you have left us and we die so both the meanings are there tava katha amritam and tava katha amritam so but the direct meaning is tapta jeevanam all of us are suffering in this material world and the great kavis kavi bhir iditam they have described your krishna katha like shri shukdev goswami shri krishna das kavi raj goswami shri vishwanath chakra thakur shri prabhupad and your katha tava katha kalmasha apah it destroys all the sinful reactions and shravana mangalam it is very spiritually beneficial to hear your krishna katha it is shrimat your shrimat bhagavatam is filled with spiritual power shrimat and it is atatam it is broadcasted all over the world by bhuri dajana by the most merciful preachers so the preacher shila prabhupad is glorified here by the gopis that preachers like shila prabhupad who are glorifying krishna and speaking krishna katha everywhere who are distributing krishna book everywhere all over the world they are most merciful they are bhuri dajana because your your krishna katha is shravana mangalam and it is it is the amritam for tapta jeevanam all of us who are suffering it is savior for us and it is very auspicious to hear krishna katha please please those who are spreading krishna katha they are bhuri dajana they are most merciful krishna please become visible to us that is the underlying theme of gopi ki verse number 10 prahasitam priya prema vikshanam viharanam chate dhyana mangalam rahasi samvido yaridi sprishah kuhakano manah shobhayanti hi prahasitam priya prahasitam you are smiling you are laughing is very priya very dear to us prema vikshanam and you glancing at us with so much prem viharanam how you do vihar with us in vrindavan forest how you walk with us dhyana mangalam 
meditating on all this on your smile on your loving glances on how you would walk with us in the forest dhyana mangalam so in the previous verse shravana mangalam now here dhyana mangalam krishna katha shravana mangalam and krishna leela dhyana mangalam when we and krishna roop dhyana mangalam here they are doing roop dhyan krishna smile krishna's glance like that so here they are meditating on krishna's roop in the previous verse on krishna katha dhyana mangalam it is most auspicious spiritually benefiting uh, beneficial for us rahasi samvido how you would have secret conversations with us confidential conversations with us yaari this prisha and those talks used to touch our heart oh where are you now why have you gone away oh cheater so here krishna is addressed as kuhaka cheater where will you find such glorification of krishna where he is called a cheater <laughs> where he is called a thief chaura gragannam purusham namami kuhaka no mana kshobhayanti separation from you is kshobhayanti mana is giving so much pain to our hearts please become visible to us we are remembering your smiles your affectionate glances your words please please come back to us chalasi adavraja charayan pashu nalina sundaram nathate padam shilatrinankure sidati tinaha kalilata manaha kanta gachati here krishna is called as kant o lover he is also again called as nath so what are the gopis saying here oh dear nath our kant lover krishna chalasi yad vraja charayan pashun when you leave vraja you leave our village vraj and you go for the sake of grazing the cows charayan pashun so here our acharya say that why they don't say cows why they are saying pashu there are two reasons please pay attention why the word pashu is used why not cows kyunki go charan karte hai na cow grazing pastime so why it not say go or cow it says charayan pashu shila sanadan goswami says because in the nand maharaj has heard there are also some buffaloes few buffaloes are there like that some acharya have said that there are some donkeys also and there are some sheep also so therefore the word pashu is used and also our other rasik acharyas have commented that the word pashu is used because the gopis are angry with the animals with the, with the cows so instead of calling the cows cow they are calling the cows animal foolish animal pashu why because they go shila trina ankura they go where there is sharp uh stones grass thorns wherever they see grass they go and krishna is following behind them because he is gopal and then the sharp thorn sharp pebbles sharp pieces of grass and even the even if the grass is soft when the cows munch on them tear the grass the remaining edges of the grass become very sharp because the cows have bitten them off so that sharp edges of grass can prick the soft nalina sundaram nathate padam he nath your pad your lotus feet are very soft nalina sundar like a lotus flower and when you walk on sharp thorns and uh, pebbles and sharp edges of the grass cut by the pashu the cows foolish cows who go where there are sharp stones and thorns your feet will get hurt and thinking like this our heart is broken kali latam manah our heart is uh, so much having pain see dati it thinking like this see dati we are having so much pain that krishna is walking on rough ground so krishna please don't go like this don't follow those pashus those foolish animals here and there send some servants you don't go you be with us <laughs> you stay with us that is the meaning दिन परीक्षये नीलकुंतल वनुहानन बिभ्रदावृत घन रजस्वल दर्शय मुहूर्मनसी न स्मर वीर यछसी दिन परीक्षये एट द एंड ऑफ द डे इन द इवनिंग व्हेन यू कम बैक टू व्रज सो कृष्ण हैज गॉन ऑल डे 
there is in the cows leaving the gopis the poor gopis are just crying in separation from krishna now late in the evening he is going to come back as the sun is about to set dina pariksha ye he comes and how is krishna <clears throat> krishna has blackish blue hair very beautiful blackish blue shiny soft curly hair remember krishna's hair is bluish black it is soft it is lustrous curly so at the end of the day when krishna comes his face is surrounded by neela kuntala locks of hair blackish blue hair and vana ruha ananam so krishna's face is lotus face and here it is called as vana ruha ananam so lotus face ananam means face and vana ruha means lotus so vana ruha ananam is another name for krishna one with lotus face when krishna comes back in the evening after grazing his cows his beautiful face lotus face surrounded by black locks of hair it is avritam ghana rajavalam krishna's face is covered with ghana raja a thick layer of rajraj dekho isliye we should all have rajraj and we should eat rajraj we should apply rajraj on our face because our krishna his face is covered with rajraj clearly in gopi gita is mentioned his vana ruha ananam krishna's lotus face vibrit is exhibiting avritam ghana rajavalam krishna's face is covered with ghana raja a thick layer of rajraj because of all the pashu the cows when they walk with their hooves all the dust is raised and that dust settles on krishna's face and krishna's face is covered with rajraj darshayan and this beautiful darshan of krishna as he comes back in the evening his beautiful lotus face covered with thick layer of rajraj his uh, bluish black locks of soft hair surrounding his face this drishya this scene is very beautiful darshan moho and the gopis want to have this darshan again and again they repeatedly want to have this darshan of krishna and some acharya have said look at the third line ghana rajasvalam that this krishna's face is covered with thick layer of dust they say it should be dhana rajasvalam because the wealth of devotees is rajraj it is our real opulence if there is anything important in our life it is krishna and things related to krishna once shila radha gundas goswami maharaj was doing hari katha in bihar and some goons came there gundas they came they attacked and they were armed with uh, revolvers and knives and they pointed their weapons at the crowd and they saw that the leader of the crowd shila radha goswami maharaj sitting on the vyasasana he had flower garlands and he had this bead bag around saffron bead bag so they thought there is some jewels or some money in that purse <laughs> so they pointed the revolver at shila radha goind maharaj and said jo koi dhan hai de do give us whatever wealth you have shila radha goind maharaj completely unfazed cool he told them wahi de raha hu baith jao that's what i am giving sit down and hear the hari katha <laughs> so for a devotee the real dhana is hari katha hari smaran hari naam vraj raj so therefore some acharya said that it should be instead of ghana raja rishmi dhana raja swalam darshayan manasi na smaram veera yachasi so please you are increasing our eagerness from you in separation please we are so eager to have you have your company please become visible to us please give us darshan then verse number 13 pranata kamadam padmajarchitam धरणी मंडनम धेयमापदी चरण पंकज शतम चते रमण नस्तने शर्पया इन दिस वर्स कृष्ण इज कॉल्ड एज रमण दिस इज द प्रूफ दैट द राम इन हरे कृष्ण महामंत्र इज कृष्ण ने रमण सो हियर द गोपीज आर सेंग दैट पद्म जार्चित धरणी मंडनम पद्म जा हु इज पद्म जा वन हु इज बॉर्न फ्रॉम द लोटस पद्म मीन्स लोटस हु इज बॉर्न ऑन लोटस ब्रह्मा जी अर्चित 
पद्मज आर्चितम यू आर वर्षिप युअर लोटस फीट आर वर्षिप बाय पद्मजा बाय ब्रह्माजी हु इज बॉर्न ऑन लोटस युअर लोटस फीट इज धरणी मंडनम इट इज द ऑर्नामेंटेशन ऑफ दिस अर्थ युअर लोटस फुट फ्रेंड्स एंड ध्येयम आपदी युअर चरण पंकजम ध्येयम आपदी मेडिटेटिंग ऑन युअर लोटस फीट इज द प्रॉपर मेडिटेशन फॉर एनी वन हु वॉन्ट्स फ्रीडम फ्रॉम डिस्ट्रेस रमण नहस्तनेश अर्पयाधि हन ओ प्लीज प्लेस युअर लोटस फीट चरण पंकजम प्लेस दम अपॉन आवर हार्ट एंड रिलीव आवर एंगजायटी अधि हन प्लीज डिस्ट्रॉय आवर आवर क्लेश आवर एंगजायटी ना लुक एट द वर्ड अधि हन हन मीन्स टू डिस्ट्रॉय एंड अधि रिमेम्बर अधि दैविक अध्यात्मिक अधि भौतिक सो अधि मीन्स एंगजायटी डिस्ट्रेस और क्लेश थ्री टाइम्स ऑफ क्लेश देर इज कॉज अधि भौतिक अदर एंटिटीज कॉज अधि दैविक कॉज बाय द देवता नेचुरल फोर्सेस लाइक दैट सो सी दधि इज देर अधि मीन्स डिस्ट्रेस and krishna is adhi han he is that he is called here adhi han one name of krishna is adhi han one name is raman in this verse so he is the destroyer of all the distress of the devotees but krishna hey ramana hey nath you are not relieving our distress today so please become visible to us place your lotus feet which is the ornament of the earth place your lotus feet which is worshiped by lord brahma in our hearts and relieve us we are getting there there are 19 verses there on verse number 14 so after gopi geet krishna and the gopis will be united and then the second part of our lecture will begin the raslila we have not discussed raslila yet we are still on the gopi geet. just kidding <laughs> but yes that is a fact raslila is yet to come so verse number 14 suratan su, surata vardhanam शोकनाशनम स्वरित वेणुना सुष्ठु चुंबित इतर राघवे स्मरण नृण वितर वीर नृत अगेन कृष्ण एड्रेस यर एज वीर ओ हीरो प्लीज गिव योर सेल्फ टू अस ओ हीरो प्लीज गिव योर सेल्फ टू अस योर प्रेजेंस surata vardhanam it increases our bliss anandam budhi vardhanam pratipadam surata vardhanam you are increasing our bliss your presence includes our bliss and shokanashanam when we have you or all, all our grief is destroyed swarita venuna and when you play your flute it attracts our heart so much we want to hear your flute we want to be with you we want to have your association please increase our pleasure and please destroy our grief surata vardhanam and shokanashanam with your venu with your presence with your adharamrit hare krishna so you can read the meaning yourself i don't want to say it very sweet very beautiful meaning when we get your adharamrit both through the flute and it makes us forget all our material attachments and we become completely attached to you krishna so they are praying like that that krishna we want your association we don't want anything else atati ad bhavan hanikananam kruti yugayate twam apashyatam कुटिल कुंतल श्री मुखम चते जड़ उदीक्षता पक्ष कृदृशा अटति यद भवान्हनि काननम अहनि मीन्स डे निशा मीन्स नाइट सो अहनि मीन्स इन इन द डे टाइम कृष्णा यू गो अवे अटति यद भवान अहनि काननम वेड यू गो you go in the forest why 
with your friends because you want to play with them you want to graze the cows so look at the meaning here atati yad bhavan bhavan o oh, respectable they are addressing krishna in the day time ahani kanana in the day time you are in the forest with your friends and the cows at night you are supposed to be with us but now at night also on this sharad purnima night you have disappeared what a rascal you are in the day time you are gone in the forest at night also you are hiding from us have some mercy so they are saying well in the day time when you go ahani kananam in the go in the forest truti yugayate twam apashyatam pashyatam means to see yo mam pashyati sarvatra sarvam chamai pashyat pashyatam means to see and apashyatam means to not be able to see in the day time because you have gone with your friends and the cows in the forest we are not able to see you throughout the day we are doing household work khana banate ghar saaf karte kapde dhote hain we are doing all household work throughout the day and we don't get to see you and what happens when we don't get to see you twam apashyatam truti yuga ayate a fraction of a second feels like a whole yuga yuga itam nimeshena चक्षुषा प्रवृषा इतम शून्यायतम जगत सर्वम गोविंद विरहे न मे सेम भाव इज देयर हियर एज महाप्रभु एक्सप्लेन्स इन शिक्षाष्टकम प्रेयर्स वन फ्रैक्शन ऑफ अ सेकंड बिकम्स मोर देन अ युगा इन सेपरेशन फ्रॉम यू बिकॉज़ अपश्यताम वी आर नॉट एबल टू सी यू एंड हाउ आर यू कुटिल कुंतलम श्रीमुखम चते योर श्रीमुख योर ब्यूटीफुल लोटस फेस कुटिल कुंतलम व्हिच इज surrounded by the curly locks of beautiful soft hair we are not able to see well krishna says are but in the evening when i come with my cows when i am walking on the road in front of your homes all of you come out and you see me you make different bahane you make different excuses we want to go and fill water you tell your mother in law you want to kutila shabd is there jatila kutila you tell your family members that we want to go fill water so on that pretext you come out and you are standing outside and all of you lined up uh, by the side of the road as i am coming with balram ji and my cows and my friends you looking at me so i am giving you darshan why are you crying why are you saying i am cruel the gopi said no no you are not cruel brahma ji is cruel because that few moments in a day when we get to see you because all day you have been away from us in the evening when you come back little few moments we get to see you what happens jada udikshatam pakshma krit disha this jada jada means murkh foolish <laughs> this foolish brahma ji he has made pakshma he has created his eyelids and the eyelids keep blinking nimesh see nimesh yugaitam nimeshena uh, yugaitam nimeshena nimesh we we keep blinking the eyes and for that fraction of a second we are not able to see you when we are supposed to see you because we have only two eyes and the eyes keep blinking therefore this brahma ji is this padmaja who is archita who is worshiping you is a fool he is jada because he gave us only two eyes and that also with eyelids which have to keep blinking and then we are deprived of your darshan and look at that indra he has given indra millions of eyes <laughs> and indra doesn't even want to see he is not even a brajwasi so the gopis are saying that you should give us also millions of eyes and that also without eyelid just like jagannath we want we want to see our jagannath with jagannath like eyes without eyelids and blinking and millions of eyes we want to see you krishna with millions of eyes so gopis are just saying that our life is filled with sorrow day the whole day we cannot see you in the evening when you come we have to keep blinking and yuga itam nimeshena so in this way they are saying that brahma ji is a foolish creator his jada now question arises who is our sampradaya acharya brahma ji we are in the brahma sampradaya and here are the gopis who are the greatest devotees are calling our sampradaya acharya jada is this vaishnava prat <laughs> no this is not vaishnava prat because this is this is because of prem peeda this is because of virah agni in that in that virah dasha these words are coming out and brahma ji understands that yes i made a mistake 
Viraj Gopis, I should have given them millions of eyes without eyelids. They are right. I made a mistake. So therefore, when this Brahmaji comes as Haridas Thakur, he tells the Gopis that I will compensate. I prevented you from having darshan by giving eyelids. Now, I will be born in a low family, so I will not be able to get darshan of Jagannath. I will not enter the temple of Jagannath. And I will stay away because I have to do prayas chitta. I have to atone for my, my mistake of giving eyelids to the Raj Gopis. See? So everything is interconnected. <laughs> so there is no aparad for pure devotees. <laughs> they have the adhikar of chastising. Because gopis, you know, above Brahmaji is Shankar Bhagwan. Vaishnavana Metha Shambhu. He is the greatest of the 12 Mahajans. Brahmaji also is Mahajan. But the greatest is Shivji. Therefore Vaishnavana Metha Shambhu. Even Shivji doesn't have entrance in Raslila. So the gopis are so high. For their sake, the Raslila is happening. For their pleasure. So they definitely have a authority to chastise Brahmaji, who is a junior devotee. <laughs> Brahmaji is a junior devotee. So he can be chastised. There is no... If a guru chastises a disciple, is there any offense? Vaishnava Prat? No. If a, if a guru calls the chela, you are jada. Is there offense? No. <laughs> guru ka to hak hai. So the gopis are chastising. They are the prem guru. Text 16. Now, this is the verse I was referring to. That Radharani is thinking, these gopis have left everything for Krishna's sake. So, why they should be deprived? Why I should enjoy alone with Krishna? Pati sutan vaya bhratar bandhava nati vilangyate tachyuta gata gati vidas tavod gita mohita kita vayoshita tasya jenishi The gopis have given up everything. They are saying, we gave up pati, our husbands. Suta. We gave up our children. Anvaya, we gave up our ancestor. Bhatra, we gave up our brothers. Bandhavan, we gave up other relatives. Ati vilangyate, we completely neglected the social norms to be with you, O oh Achyut. We have come here to be with you, giving up everything in the middle of the night we have come. Hearing your flute song. Tava Ud Gita Mohita. We have been attracted by your Venu Geet. Karshana Venu Swanayara Gopi. We have been attracted by a song of your fifth note of your flute. Ud Gita Mohita. And now you are leaving Yoshita. We are all women. We should always be under protection. Na? A woman should never be alone. And you are leaving us alone in the middle of the night. That also in the middle of a forest. See? Jungle mein to akela nahi chhodna chahiye. And nobi raat ko nahi chhodna chahiye. And it is night time and we are in the middle of the forest and Krishna, tum kaise veer ho that you are leaving us alone. All of us, Yoshitam. Tejet, Nishi. At night, Nishi, Tejet, you have abandoned us. What kind of person are you? We left everyone for you and you left us. What kind of justice is this? Hare Krishna. This is the mood of this beautiful verse. Rahasi samvidam Richayodayam Prahasitananam Prema Vikshanam Brihadura Shriyo Vikshadhamate Murati Spriha Muyate Manaha Muyate Manaha Muyate Manaha Our minds are bewildered as we think of the Rahasi Samvidam, the intimate conversations that we had with you in secret. And <clears throat> Rid Shaya Udayam. They are increasing our love in our heart for you. And we are Prema Vikshanam. We are remembering how lovingly you would glance at us. Brihad Ura. And your Ura, your chest is Brihad. It is broad chest. Krishna has a broad chest. And Shriya. On that chest, there is Shrivatsa mark. On Krishna's chest, Shrivatsa mark, which is the resting place of Lakshmiji. And Muhur Ati Spriha. We are having Ati Spriha. We are having excessive hankering for you, Krishna. We are really hankering for you. Please don't leave us. Please become visible to us. We are remembering your sweet talks, your merciful glance, your broad chest with which you would give us aling and embrace us. Please, Krishna, come and embrace us. Verse number 18. Second last verse. 
व्रजवनौकसाक्तिरंगते वृजिन हंत्रल विश्वमंगल त्यज मनाक्षनास्तृहात्म स्वजनरीदूजाशूदन so here krishna is being addressed by the gopis by saying o beloved krishna your all auspicious appearance vanquishes the distress of those who live in vraja's forest vraja vana okasham okasham means those who dwell and krishna is described here by a very beautiful term what is that anga the gopis are calling krishna anga as if he is part of their own body how we love our body we take care of our body we bathe we dress we put moisturizing cream we trim our nails we have haircut we take care of our body so nicely isn't it so just like we take care of our body we love our body the most the gopis are saying oh krishna you are our anga we love you so much you are like our own self and our mind is longing For your association, tyaja mana chana tuat sprihat mana. We are just hankering for you, tuat sprihat man. And therefore, please give us the medicine. Give us the medicine of your presence, and that is the only way that will cure our rith rojam, the disease of our heart. What is the disease of our heart? We are. Simply hankering for you, we cannot live without you. You are Vishwa Mangalam. You are all auspicious. Please don't give us up. Please give yourself to us. Vraja Vana is mentioned here because in the forest you get all the aushadi, all the medicinal herbs in the forest you get. So please give us the medicine of your own presence and cure the disease that we are suffering from, which is the disease of separation from you. so this beautiful 18 verses filled with bhav prayer love chastisement everything was there for krishna but krishna would not come and on this 19th verse is recited by shri mati radharan this is in vasant tilak because radharan spoke it it's in a different meter the meter changes because radharan is special yatte sujata charana buruham staneshu bhitashanai priya dadhima hi karkasheshu वेरी ब्यूटिफुल चरण अंबु रुहम अंबु रुहम मीन्स लोटस चरण मीन्स फीट युअर लोटस फीट आर वेरी सुजात वेरी ब्यूटिफुल स्तनेशु भीता शनय वी प्लेस योर लोटस फीट विच आर वेरी ब्यूटिफुल एंड सॉफ्ट इन आवर ओन हार्ट भीता शनय शनय मीन स्लोली वेरी केयरफुली स्लोली वी प्लेस योर लोटस फीट इन आवर हार्ट आवर हार्ट आर वेरी सॉफ्ट लाइक बटर एंड वी प्लेस योर लोटस फीट इन आवर हार्ट फियरिंग भीता फियरिंग that even our soft hearts may cause pain to your lotus feet because your feet are so soft that even in our soft butter like hearts we fearfully place them thinking that oh we our our hearts should not hurt your soft lotus feet those lotus feet o priya o priya krishna krishna is being addressed here with the word priya by radharani o priya o dear krishna those same lotus feet यत्ते सुजात चरण बुरुहम स्तनेशु भीता शनय प्रिय दधे महि करकशेशु बिकॉज कंपेयर्ड टू योर लोटस फीट वी थिंक दैट आवर हार्ट्स आर करकश आवर हार्ट्स आर हार्ड ऑल्दो द हार्ट्स आर सॉफ्ट लाइक बटर सॉफ्टर देन बटर बट राधारानी इज सेइंग दैट कंपेयर्ड टू योर लोटस फीट ओ कृष्णा ओ प्रिय कृष्णा वी फील आवर हार्ट्स आर करकश दे आर हार्ड सो वेरी फियरफुली प्लेस देम इन आवर हार्ट तेना 
and those soft lotus feet which we are afraid to place even in our soft heart those lotus feet you are placing on sharp pebbles and thorns in the forest kurpa adibir sharp thorns and stones you are placing as uh, bhramati as you are walking around in the forest hiding from us in this dark night are in the day time when you go atati yad bhavan ahani kananam in the day time when you go there is my worshipable lord surya dev remember we, uh, we discussed radharani's surya upasika my surya dev is there in the day time to show you the way so you don't step on the sharp thorns and pebbles but now it is night at night you will not be able to see krishna those sharp pebbles and thorns and accidentally will step on them and your soft lotus feet charanam buru will get hurt and how much pain i will feel if the soft lotus feet of yours get hurt by pebbles and thorns therefore please quickly become visible to us please come back don't roam around in the dark forest because there are sharp pebbles and thorns please quickly come back become visible to us this is the prayer of radharani yatte su जात चरण बुरुहम स्तनेशु भीताशन प्रिय दधि महि कर्कशेशु ते नाटविम अटसित व्यथ ते न किम स्वेद कुरुपादि भिर्भ्रमति भिर्भवदायुषाम न आर माइंड्स आर फिल्ड विद एंजाइटी व्यथ ते हमारी व्यथा को देखो वी आर सो डिस्ट्रेस थिंकिंग दैट यू आर गोइंग टू स्टेप ऑन द शार्प पेपल्स एंड पॉइंट्स प्लीज बिकम विजिबल टू अस इमीडिएटली व्हेन Radharani prayed like this. Krishna could not stay away. That brings us to the next chapter. Whenever you recite Gopi Git, never stop. On the last nineteenth verse of chapter thirty-one, please, because in chapter thirty-one, at the end of the nineteenth verse, the gopis are still in viraha. They are still in separation from Krishna. So please, never stop there. Okay, come to the next chapter and recite the first two verses where there is union. This thirty-second chapter of tenth canto is called reunion. So after Radha Rani spoke this verse, and she is asking Krishna to become visible, Sri Shukdev Goswami says, Sri Shuka Uvacha, Iti Gopya Pragayantya Pralapantya Chachitra Dhar Urudhu Suswaram Rajan Krishna Darshana Lala Sa. Shukdev Goswami is saying that Iti Gopya Pragayantya. After the gopis sang this gopi geet, Iti Gopya. pragayante ha when the gopis sang this gopi geet pralapantyascha chitradha they sang this in various charming ways remember different different gopis sang with different different bhavs so it was very charming very attracted to krishna rurudhu suswaram rajan very loudly but in a sweet voice everything about the gopis is sweet the gopis began to cry loudly after reciting this this gopi geet this 19 verses all the gopis together they started crying loudly rurudhu suswaram rajan o parishad maharaj o raja the gopis started crying why they were crying krishna darshana lalasa because they wanted to have krishna as association they wanted to see krishna krishna darshana lalasa they were eager to see krishna and in separation from krishna they were crying text number 2 last verse for today yeah so we have to leave now so manmatha is i am ready as soon as you are ready we leave so manmatha is cupid why because cupid churns our mind bewilders our mind hai na kaam dev ke karan hum log pagal ho jate hai we are running here and there uh, driven by lust in this material world atmendriya priti ichha to satisfy our senses so krishna so uh, madan is cupid cupid is called manmath because he makes us mad agitates our mind but who is krishna he is sakshat manmatha manmatha he is the attractor of cupid madan mohan madan ko bhi mohit kar dete hain krishna bewilders even cupid and who is radharani 
मन मथा मन मथा मन मथा शी इज मदन मोहन मोहिनी राधा रानी इज शी एंड दिस इज दिस वॉज इज प्रूफ दैट राधा रानी इवन अट्रैक्ट द अट्रैक्टर ऑफ क्यूपेड बिकॉज आफ्टर हियरिंग द नाइनटीन वर्स ऑफ द गोपी गेट कृष्णा इमिजिएटली केम तासा महावीर बुद्ध शौरी भगवान आविर्भूत हो गए कृष्णा इमिजिएटली अपियर्ड अंतरदान हो गए थे आविर्भूत हो गए कृष्णा डिस अपियर्ड नाउ कृष्णा अपियर्ड तासाम आविर्भूत शौरी एंड कृष्णा इज कॉल्ड शौरी बिकॉज ही इज इन द डायनेस्टी ऑफ शूर सेन एंड शौरी ऑल्सो मीन द ब्रेव वन बिकॉज द गोपीज वर टॉन्टिंगली कॉलिंग इन अवीर अवीर सुना इज कॉल्ड शूर वीर कृष्णा अपियर हो गए सो तासाम आविर्भूत शौरी स्मयम आना मुखाम बुझा एंड हाउ वॉज कृष्णा ऑन इज मुखाम बुझा ऑन इज लोटस पेट स्मयम आना ही वॉज स्माइलिंग सो आवर आचार्य बाय कृष्णा वॉज स्माइलिंग to reassure radha rani that i am not hurt in the forest by the sharp pebbles and thorns radha rani had the fear na that krishna will get hurt in the night he could he will not be able to see the pebbles and the thorns he will step on them so krishna appeared but the smile on his face smaya mana smile on his face smaya mana mukham bhuja so that radha rani will come to know that oh krishna is not hurt krishna is fine krishna is safe so he came with a smiling face and pitambara dharasagi why pitambar because It is a completion of Shrimati Radha Rani. Tab ta kaan chana gaurangi. Krishna is wearing pitambar vastra to tell Radha Rani that I belong to you. I wear yellow dhoti because it reminds me of you. And Radha Rani wears blue dhoti because it reminds her her of Ujjwal Nila Mani Krishna. She wears a Nila Ambar Dhara Radha Pitambar Dharo Hari Jeevan Nidhan Nityam Radha Krishna Gatiya. So Krishna appeared there with a smile on his face and wearing a yellow garment. Pitambara Dhara Sragvi to prove that he has come there only attracted by Shri Mati Radha Rani. Pitambara Dhara Sragvi. Tasam Abir Bhushar. He came there and in this way there was a union after the separation, after the Gopi Geet. There is no other Geet in the 10th canto of Shri Mati Bhagavatam where at the end of the Geet Krishna appears. Gopi Geet is the only Geet. because it shows the power of gopi geet especially the 19th verse the last verse chanted by shrimati radha rani and then krishna reappears in the um, in the rasa sthali to all the gopis and then they have their ras leela the gopis have their ras leela and i was going to discuss something on the ras not the ras leela itself but something about the ras leela but we don't have time actually we have to go now so um i have maybe radha lokar ka okay so we have five more minutes so i will stop here although i want to discuss something about the raslila also but we will stop here uh, the raslila that took place had amazing kirtan dancing singing and this goes on eternally in the spiritual world and golokera premadhana hari naam sankirtan we as servants of shrimati radha rani have to sing and play musical instruments as radha and krishna dance eternally in the raslila so our movement is of singing dancing and feasting we feast on the remnants of radha and krishna we feed radha krishna and then their remnants as they are taking rest in the nikunja we honor their remnants their adharamrit we get this is our eternal life my dear friends this is what shila prabhupad means when he says krishna consciousness means singing dancing and feasting we feast on the ahar on the diet of hari naam hari katha and bhagavat prasad radha krishna prasad so this is our movement my dear friends this is a transcendental past time it has nothing to do with mundane lust it is completely on a spiritual platform for those who have attained the platform of krishna prem this is for premi bhaktas and prem comes way after anartha nivritti lust greed envy this is all anarthas after anartha nivritti comes nishtha after nishtha comes ruchi then asakti bhav and then prem and this rasalila is having happening not on the plane plane of prem because even shantaras is prem even dasya is prem even sakhya is prem even vatsala is prem this is way beyond higher than all that it is madhurya prem no it is not even madhurya prem because even dwarka is madhurya even swakya bhav is madhurya this is not swakya bhav this is not uh, uh, dwarka or mathura bhav this is even higher than that this is the unnat ujwal ras this is madhurya prem shringar ras adi ras 
it's happening on that platform the ras leela the gopi geet therefore it is purely spiritual it is not something that we can understand right now in our sadhan avastha sadhak avastha but this is prayojan this is the highest goal for all of us and even though many of you may be new devotees namodar Char charan prabhu told me that some of you are experienced devotees some of you are new devotees it's a new congregation there but still we had this discussion so that all of you understand that this is where we are headed this is where we are going this is our ambition this is our highest aspiration so when we set up set off on a journey we should know where we are headed right in the gps we put the destination so this is where we are headed there will be many turns and exits and so many things will happen tall booths will come we'll have to pay the price and we will pay and we'll keep going and some day we will reach by the mercy of shila prabhupada but we should have our eyes set on the destination and this is the destination radha kund and ras leela this is where we want to serve as shrimati radha rani spalya das is that is manjari upasana that is our line radha krishna pranamor yuga lakishor jivane marane gati aranahi mur jagat guru shila prabhupada ki jai shri kartik mas ki jai thank you very much hare krishna if there are any questions we have 5 minutes we have to go somewhere as soon as my family comes i will have to leave till then i am with thank you so much prabhu uh, i'm really really grateful to you uh, i i just have no words like first time in in my life actually my deep is hurt uh, this entire i know deep is also love to listen to gopi git especially his past time So I did is got to hear entire Gopi Geet <laughs> with description properly, and they're sitting right beside. So I'm very, very, very much uh, grateful. And everyone over here is uh, they they heard the detailed explanation of Gopi Geet also for the very first time, like the detailed one. So thank you so much. If anyone has any uh, question, if anyone has any question, Rukmini said that you have a question. You had a question, right? Okay. Uh, I will unmute you from your computer. Okay. स्पिरिचुअल वाइब्रेशन इज लाइक दैट हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण नेहा विक्रम आश्वस्ती हरे कृष्ण यस माता रे Prabhuji, as you mentioned, mentioned in the starting, like unless or until we are surrendered to Krishna, we will we will not hear to our prayers. So, like as a neophyte devotee, like what should be our mood or what should be our attitude towards Krishna? And in case like we even like in this lifetime we are not able to achieve that stage, like the full surrender to Krishna, then what is the hope for us for that? The hope is Guru and Sadhus. Krishna may not hear our prayer, but Guru is hearing. guru is hearing our prayer we may not even be following the four regulative principles but guru maharaj is hearing so first stage first stage of krishna consciousness shri rupa goswami describes as guru padashray we must accept a guru we must accept a guru and guru maharaj is accepting krishna is very high class he will accept only sir, pure but guru maharaj is very merciful and he will accept us and if we follow the instructions of shri guru very soon we can come to the level of sharanagati and then krishna will hear our prayers by the mercy of guru and then we will get krishna also so we always have hope our attitude should be i am very fallen but this is where i want to go i want to become purified there is no way around purification and i will try my best i will do the best i can i will be sincere and krishna will always help me avashya rakshi be krishna okay Hare Krishna. Prabhu, I had uh, one. Uh, I know because I don't know when I will get to talk to you again. But uh, you're in Raj, and in just uh, me and my wife, Kusmini Sada, we will be parents within just a few weeks, couple of weeks or more. So can you please pray for us? Like we're going to be parents soon. I'm going to be a father. So can you please pray to Sri Raj Dham? We are already in Raj for us. Please and please give your blessings to us, Prabhu. Please. I'm not qualified to give blessings. but you bless me and i will pray for you and your good wife and uh, your child who is coming um, i am yes i am here physically at least 
in Shri Vrindavan Dham. And I pray to Shri Prabhupada, Shri Shri Gaur Nitai, Krishna Balram and Radha Sham Sundar Lalita Vishaka Sakhis, Rupa Manjari, to bless you and your family and all of you. Sadbury Bhakti Center. May you be buried in bliss. Sad bury, but may you be buried in spiritual ananda. Not sadness, but may you be bliss bury. <laughs> Blissfully buried in Krishna fame. Hmm? I pray for all of you that may your Krishna consciousness increase, may your devotion increase, and may you all happily together practice Krishna consciousness. Hare Krishna.